Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oop, almost messed that up, didn't I? Welcome back to the Shadow and Sun Show, and welcome back to another Thursday night of painting, crafting, streaming, and chatting about whatever comes to mind. Uh, I, I had a busy day today, all kinds of issues, uh, but thankfully StreamYards was kind enough to give me uh, two extra free days of the plan so that uh, I could I could be here with you tonight, folks. Uh, I was trying to buy the, uh, the updated plan, and my bank card just didn't want to cooperate. Uh, I was trying to autofill an old card, so I got declined. And after a big, long to-do, I, I, I straightened all that out. Um, I, uh, I, I'll be putting the link in the chat right now because I didn't have time to send the link out to uh, the usual cast of characters. I, I did send it out to one very special person, but I will be monitoring who tries to come in. So any of you weirdos, oh, wait a minute, that's all my friends. Any of you really weird weirdos try popping in. Uh, it's not going to happen. I know, uh, you know, just looking down at the screen, uh, Oh, look at him. Oh, my God. There's Bear, and uh, I have to fix my name. What's up, Bear? Uh, not much, man. How you I doing, like, man? Uh, I'm sick. Still sick. I've been sick for like two days. You know, uh, Jackie just came home, and he says he's got something. So I guess it's going around. Well, if it's reached from California to here, that's a pretty potent bug. Well, you know, it's just the timing and stuff. I mean... People are, you know, spreading crap around, you know, 365. So Justin said he was going to show up, by the way. So you might want to send him the link. Uh, I, I didn't send the link out to anybody. I just posted in the chat because well, I was having bank yeah. issues. So I couldn't do my – because I usually, you know, before the show, I send the link out to, to you know, all my friends out there. All my friends out there in TV land. Right, right. Hey, Anybody else you want me to man. send it to? Uh, you know, well, uh, anybody you think would be interested in popping in? Uh, you know, it's one of those one of those days. Been super busy. Hey, twin, how's it going? Nice to see you. <clears throat> we're uh, we're just gonna we're gonna paint up some stuff while we chat. Uh, I paint up things like this, twin. In case you've never seen what I do, it's a big giant turtle. Rar. Uh, and uh, we, we do goofy stuff like that. I've got to show off all these things. I'm hoping to get some ideas of how to store this stuff because my table is a disaster right now. I don't paint shit. Yeah, I, I you know, I'm a, a bit of a hoarder. And uh, uh, I was just talking to uh, someone earlier uh, that I'm a, a very, very greedy capitalist pig who, who likes his stuff. Hey, what's up? Derek, long time no see. And Justin, no problem. Come on in. Oh, you could just come in the back door, right? You've got the, the moderator, the wrench, so you should be able to just come on in. So, so you know, I, I know yeah, you're a starter. I, I know you're, you're what? Back or kid. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Um, do you do you back any any other people's projects? You you backing anybody right now? Do anything like that or just working on your own stuff? The only thing I backed recently was uh, Modern Necessities by uh, Victor, and that's about yep, it. Did, did so as well. Uh, and, and, you know, I know I'll probably never run it, um, but he's a good guy. He's been a friend of ours since, like, day one. And uh, I figured what the heck. I also uh, picked up uh, – uh, something from the red room because they have a Western and I've, I've been wanting to check out their stuff. And I don't know if you saw recently, they did this really cute video uh, where they said, don't review our product. And so I fell for the reverse psychology and will not only, you know, review their product, but hopefully I'll enjoy it. Uh, a lot of people I know help them out. Don't know who that is. You, you've never heard of the red room. Uh, I believe uh, it was Sylvia and Miguel. Uh, they do uh, all the wretched stuff they did. Remember Men, the game Men that came out a while ago? Nope. Okay. 
Uh, they do a lot of. Is it an OSR game? Uh, not really, or maybe. Because I'm not an OSR guy. You know what I mean? Like I support the OSR, but I respect the OSR, but I don't play D and D anymore, and that includes variants therein. Because you don't consider Palladium OSR. I think Palladium's OSR in the sense that it's an old school game, but I don't think I think when you get into the OSR and man, Marvel, what well, the game I love would be considered OSR. Original Cyberpunk would be OSR by those rules. But I think the OSR itself sees it as old D and D and clones of old D and D. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that sort of thing either. I play the originals in in all respects, and I, I don't, you know, I, I don't need to belong to another cult. I'm not saying that yeah. they're a cult, but they kind of they kind of act like one in a lot of ways without a leader. It, it, some groups, some groups can get a little culty. For sure. Yeah, and and you know. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with 90% of all the games that have ever come out. If you've got a group of five, six players, even if it's only two or three, that want to play the game, freaking play it. Yep. You know, you're going to get, you're, you're, you're going to get just as much happiness and satisfaction out of playing an old game that you've had, you know, like in your collection or on your shelf for decades, or even yeah. if you just picked it up, than you are with any shiny new thing that comes down the pike and unless you know it's it's like a like you're at a a a game shop and everybody's playing it and you want to you know hang out with the cool kids then you know be my guest when when i open my shop i'm not gonna say you can't play this or you must play that you want to bring in an old weird game you know what i'm gonna kick back and watch and see if uh maybe it's something i want to you know try myself i've Played hundreds of different games over the years. Well, first of all, I am the cool kids. I'm all of them. Every single cool kid is me. Uh, secondly, I, I just, I'm so bored. I mean, I'll come back to D&D at some point in my future. For sure, it'll happen. Um, hi, Janet. Um, hey, but Janet. currently, D&D holds no fascination for me, you know? Yeah, uh, as Justin can tell you, I, I'm, I'm, I'm running what I consider probably my last D&D game. Uh, for a good long time, just because I've, I've always wanted to run this game, and I, I got some cool people who want to want to you know give me a chance as their GM. And hey, Janet, and uh, you know after that, Janet. I'll probably run something. Uh, you know, I'll probably end up running uh, Amazing Adventures from Troll Lord Games because it's a pulp, you know, 1930s to 50s. Yeah, but style it's, it's still, it still uses the D and D based system, right? It's using the the Castles and Crusades Siege engine. So for yeah, me, yeah. that's it's a huge yeah. turnoff. If I want to play a different game, I don't want to just play a different setting or genre using D and D rules. I want to play a different game, a different system. Yeah, yeah. I want to yeah. I want to experience other ideas because that's what opened me up, right? Remember, now, I started yeah, with that. I didn't I'm start totally, with that. Totally now, Bear, settings over system guy, but I get it. Bear, I need to make a fat guy joke. Go for it. I am all the cool kids, though. Yeah, is that because you ate them all? Yes, I ate every single one of those little bastards with the uh, hot, little? hot and spicy minute. Texas style. Little, they're not little. They're, they're kids, dude. They're tiny. I'm six three. They're little. Yeah, you say cool kids, not cool people. I didn't say I eat the cool people. I said I ate the cool kids. Yeah, they oh, were on a bus. They were going to the museum. Okay, I I okay. pulled over the bus, and next thing you know, it's barbecue. It's long pork barbecue. That's all I'm just saying. Yeah. Baby okay. back ribs take on a whole different meaning when you're eating children. <laughs> Baby. Yeah, the, the white meat. Baby. Uh, shadow, shadow, shadow. Would you rather I made fun of you instead and talked about your illustrious career and elongated life? You know what? It, I, I, I'm not going to censor anybody. Justin can attest to that. You, you know. Well, well, well since Justin's here, let's talk about gun control. <laughs> talk about it what? It wasn't that, man. It was, it was just like. The fucking guy complains about me going on about the same thing, but he never fucking like last week with the fucking stupid redhead with the, the fucking thick thighs. Like it was cool the first ten minutes, the fourth hour. He was talking about Big Red uh, when I went and said hi to him just a little bit. Um I, I, I know nothing of her other than what he's shown and uh to be honest, don't really care. Um me neither. I'm not you know, into girls built like that. I like a healthy woman. Like when I say healthy, I mean actually not just fat. You know what I mean? 
I, Anorexia I'm a, is I'm healthier. The weirdo. I'm the weirdo. I like them skinny as hell. If I Me can't too, man. Ribs, Dude. If I can't see the ribs, okay. I'm not interested. I literally, I, did, I tripped across this video called um, Blondes and Cadillacs by Autograph. It's an 80s glam rock song that I don't know how I ever fucking missed it in the 80s, but I did. And in the video, yeah, they show lots That's of different idea. blondes in Cadillacs. So I sent the video to my best friend. I said, which one's the one that I like? And he came back and he got her right on the first try. I sent it to one of my ex-girlfriends. I said, which one's the one I like? She got it right on the first try. My friends all know I have this weakness. They're called skinny, pointy blondes. For some reason, I have an absolute weakness for skinny, pointy blondes. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm not into the big asses and all that and, 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 and Dollars to donuts, I'm certain there is a skinny blonde out there just waiting to, to have... Wow. To be swept off her feet by you one of these days when you I'm least expect it. buddy. It's done. Oh, Shit, that don't mean know. anything. I mean, you, you know, know. You, you you work in a, in and around Hollywood, or at least did. You should know she might not even be born yet. Oh, come on now, son. <laughs> I, I ain't no DiCaprio. <laughs> I am hey, not you know what? Caprio. I don't hang know. You, you got all I, that. Big let, let me make it better. Let me make it better. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. Let me make it better. Which button is it? I think it's this one. I am not DiCaprio. Oh. You got oh, all that big nice role for the in. Shadow and Sun Show. I am honored. I got a new mic, man. I'm so happy with it. You, 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 you turn down the, the, the number of those chicks just a little bit. You know, keep them at just barely 18, but instead of tens, they're now fours. What was that joke you, that, that Ricky Gervais made about a movie being so long that DiCaprio's girlfriend was too old for him by the time it was over? You know, I, like, I, I think I think it's the, that's the average ivory commercial. Mm. Uh, but yeah, that there was a there was a movie. I don't remember what it was. It was a it was a great joke. He he face bombed. He face bombed during that commercial. Oh, shit. oh so I've made forty four songs now, and I'm on the road to making a top one hundred. That's what's gonna happen. That's cool. Yeah. And some of those songs were real bangers. I listened to the other day. Oh, well, did you you only listen to the top 10, right? That I sent you to pick your favorite 10, or do you listen to the folder full of them? Uh, no, I just listened to the mix you put on the YouTube. Yeah. Oh, you watched that? So that's 40, that's 39 of them. I think. Okay, 39. I didn't listen to all of them. I just listened to some of them. And they yeah. were, they were, they're, there are some cool. damn good ones in there. I mean, they're all, yeah. they all fit the genre of what I'm going for. I, I'm just saying, if you, you took like one or two of those artists and made out a full, a full album, you could probably release it. Suno doesn't have that feature yet, but I'm just going to wait patiently because it's currently in its beta stage, right? So they're on, they're on version three now. Eventually, they're going to have, I guarantee you, features like in music painting where you can go in and pick an area and then adjust what it sounds like or, you know, duplicate this song or duplicate this singer. That's all going to come. In the next yeah. five to ten cool. years, with all of the AI stuff that's out there, it is going to open up and liberate creativity to everyone who wishes to create. And I do not yeah. see that as a bad thing. Yeah. I was fighting. I was talking with John from the basic expert yesterday, I think it was or the day before. Not not a he's not a fan, but he is an artist. So it's like well, and you know what? They, there will always be an artisan market for them, and they'll get just as much work then as they get now. And the people who don't want that will be able to do what they want. Now, I'm never going to sell. Zenith will never sell. Zeg will not sell AI, ever. We will not sell AI music. We will not sell AI art. But I will use it for my own uses and generate my own stuff. Come on, man. How much fun is it that I'm going to run my superhero campaign set in 1980X and I can just give the players, here's what's on the radio. And some that's players gonna, gonna, they are going to hear a line that's, that's going to that trigger in their brain. And they're going to have a moment in play where they're going to quote a song, you know, like the song says, superheroes stand together side by side, you know, like whatever. That's, That's freaking the genius, dude. Well, it's it's not even like, okay, so you, you've got like um, like an idea from the AI, right? Yeah. And then you, you go in and you, you polish out the, because there yep. are some of those songs that are just like, the, the lyrics just are like, yeah, they're rough. Yeah, they're out of stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. isn't professional yeah. shit. Yeah. So, so you, you ever you listen to that B-sides? rough? Yeah. Well, some of them are a little worse than B sides. Um, but well, uh, that's just that's just your opinion as someone who wasn't around in the '80s. If you're actually well, like an '80s person, you'll be able to. You'll be like we'd watch them live together, 
and people in the chat yeah. like every song were going oh fuck this is this oh this is this and they were picking the bands and they were getting it right yes what the bands that were the influences you know yes. what i mean and that's what that's makes cool. it fun that that's not my point. My point is, you take those like rough ideas that the AI gives you, and you polish them to be from well, that's what, so what mediocre I to chat better. GPT. So yeah. I use ChatGPT to generate some lyrics on a theme, and then I go in and I polish it as best I can. And then I started learning about rhyme schemes while I was doing it. So I'd be like, yeah. okay, write me a song about this using using Tesra Rima rhyme scheme with consonants, and like you know, oh, and that gives me a whole other song. And then I go in and I edit stuff for awkwardness. Now, yeah, well, my, my point song. is. My, my point is after you do that like yeah. that is not ai generated material anymore it's ai assisted but it's not ai sure. generated so that i personally have no problem with you taking like actually a, developing a good thing out of and then marketing that if i had the money i'd hire bands to do the songs you know what i mean yeah yeah well th that's that's like like if, if you're a writer or coming up with like movie ideas like see so yeah okay you need a band for music or, or even try to do it yourself, but uh, I'm saying like anyway, if, if you're fun. generating the idea and, and going for like it's using as, using it as like uh, getting over the hurdles and stuff like that or get, getting ideas, I have no problem with that. But I, yeah, I, like just think, said, I fun. think everyone who is crying about AI stuff is sadly being luddites they're being neo luddites because it's not going to go away it's not going to stop so you can pout, exactly stamp your feet on. well like throw your wooden shoes into the machine as much as you like but it's not going to stop like like when we were talking about this about six months ago right when i was a little newer um i mentioned that when i first got into painting there were still articles floating around about how synthetic paintbrushes were the devil's work yeah, yeah, of and, course and then photoshop you know, is the devil's work and everything's always the devil's work but i guarantee yeah. you once they have the ability to so the things that the thing that drives me nuts about ai right now is it does not have the ability for some reason i don't know why they haven't programmed this into it to be able to replicate something it just made right so i can produce a song and i can't ask it to do the same song with changes it'll just redo the music redo the voice redo everything but as it goes along and it gets more and more intense you're going to have the ability to do that. And at that point, what? artists are going to be able to use it as a tool to assist their work. That's the one thing, like, because with with the, the, the good art breeder programs, there's usually a bar somewhere. I know the one on Discord that you used didn't have it. Midgery uh, doesn't have it. ChatGPT using Dolly 3 doesn't have it. No. But like uh, Mid Journey and um, uh, uh, I'm looking up the name of uh, uh, fucking. It's right on the tip of my tongue. It's just an L. You letting people uh, fuck on the tip of your tongue? Holy shit! Uh, uh, whatever. That there's like a little bar um that you can slide that makes it uh le like less less changes will happen to the image so if you have like an yeah image... you, you can do that but the problem is is it's not a fine art yet it will yeah. be it and will then... eventually be a fine art where i can literally do a picture of let's say i make a shadow a character that looks like shadow and i can go in and go oh but you gave him a black beard give him a white beard i can go in and just mm -hmm. you know highlight that region and it'll make it white for me without messing up the rest of the picture yeah well like uh uh, uh, fuck, I just mentioned the name of it, the one that I have on my computer. Um, it has an in paint function where you can just paint around yeah. the beard and say only this area and, yeah. and then say what to change, and, and it'll only yeah. change that. Dolly but 3 it, has still, that. Still Mid Journey has it, but they're still wonky. Dolly 3 is yeah, better than Mid but it doesn't always follow instructions, and that's the problem you're going to run into. Yeah, but listen, 10 years from now. We're all going to be able to buy a service from Microsoft, from Google, from whoever, which is your own personal AI suite. And you're going to buy your modules. I want a music module. I want an art module. I want a writing module. I want a movie module. I want whatever it is. And you're going to be able to talk to it and say, hey, uh, you know, hey, Felix. There we well, go. I'll name, my, I'll name my AI Felix. Hey, Felix, make me a comic about blah, 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 blah. And it's going to do it. And you're able to go, okay, that's perfect. Or I want these changes. And like, okay, man. And it's going to change it. This is where we're heading. Um... You know, I, I, my, that was pretty much my argument with with John, is that the the the, the big wigs, you know, uh, with with all the money and all the power, they are going to push this crap 
for everything, and, and I don't mean crap in that way, in a bad way. Yeah, yeah, it's just the genre. The the and there's there's market. so many there's so many things. I mean, think about you know uh, uh, you know uh, the disabled, you know who mm -hmm. can't do things, but you know have that you know have that great brain going on, but can't yep. you know can't do the things. You know what 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 what's it gonna allow them to do? We're yep. gonna <laughs> hey Felix. Well, you know, that's just one example of all the things, you know, good that it could do. Now, you know, being the conspiracy guy and, the, you know, the guy that I am, I can see all kinds of bad stuff. Well, there's there. already like deep fakes and stuff like that. Sure. You know. But you know what? That's not going to stop anybody from doing Fuck a bad even, thing. If, 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 I mean, if, if someone wants to do something that's not not cool, nothing's going to stop. But yeah, if they want to do something that's really cool. God forbid we try and stop them. Think about this. 15 years from now, you're going to be able to say, I'm going to go pay for my my $50 a month subscription or whatever it is. Inflation will say $100 a month subscription for my Gemini AI personal assistant. Or I can go get the $25 a month one, the Dollar General AI. Right. <laughs> it's going to happen. This is yeah. all going to happen. And instead of fighting it, we need to embrace it so we can control it and make it less Destructive dangerous. and must yeah. dangerous, exactly. Well, this is the, this it'll is the be revolutionary, but it's a paradigm shift, people. I was there when the video toaster came out and became a paradigm shift in video editing. And every editor I knew said, This is garbage. I can't believe they're using computers to edit. You got to use the old tape, tape, blah, 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 blah. yeah. And now, and the, and the first yeah. everybody used to edit. The, fir the first time someone didn't have to spend three hours cutting a single single scene, scene. yeah they, they could do half a fucking movie in that time yeah it was well i'm exaggerating it was a lot but of yeah, yeah your stuff. point is made though this the minute the convenience of it became evident and yeah. it freed up people to produce more it well, became standard it, when i went to radio school okay my first year of radio school i didn't do second year which is sad i should have because they were just switching over to digital editing so i literally learned how to edit on the old four track reels you know, okay. real to real, with a white okay. marker and taping shit together. Right. You know what I mean? So it, it, it's it's not even just that. There's this very famous like uh, there's a popular meme on YouTube. It's a fairly old one of like this great uh, clay sculpture of like uh, Thor, right? Like Thor from the the movies, uh, similar to that. But it hadn't been cured yet, and it fell over, and the whole face end was just flat. Yeah, right. I don't know that if you've seen. It. Yeah, you ever you ever see that picture where the whole face is just flat? No. Okay, I'll, I'll look for it later. Anyway, anyway, funny. anyway. In digital sculpting, you just hit back, and it's not yeah. flat anymore. Yep. Yeah. So you fuck something up digitally, you have to be extra special to not be able to just hit back okay. after. Here's here's a perfect example. Okay, I've been using uh, this, the AI stuff to make songs, to make superhero pictures, things like that. And more often than not, I'll give it a parameter: draw me a picture of Shadow and Son as superheroes wearing blue and red, standing over the city skyline, and that'll be what I'll tell it. And it'll yeah. give me something. And then every now and then, it'll give me something that I would never have considered, never would have thought of, and it's better than the idea I had. And now it allows me to build and create from that point. Yeah. This is an amazing thing. I like you, Justin. You seem cool. Well, thanks, Felix. I, I feel appreciated completely at this moment <laughs> in time. Bye. Felix. Yeah, I, wow. you, Justin, make your own show and, you know, uh, yeah. rant. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just, uh, I, I get dead when i'm on my own right so uh, i need a different co-host uh we're talking and, and on we're talking about ai yeah. in general and where it's yeah. going and how it's being yeah. used and that it is an inevitability inevitability here's well she's bringing up futurists oh raven yeah. do you have the link you should come join us yeah he gave her the link uh a while ago but she got caught in a storm there's tornadoes and witches and it's a whole wizard of oz thing and uh, she'll well, be in shortly. listen, transhumanism is a whole other conversation, Raven, and I'm not going to go down that spicy road just yet because transhumanism is the thing that scares me the most. 
Yeah. So so the one the one I was thinking uh is online uh, is leonardo.ai. Yeah, yeah, I have a friend who uses it. Um you can use it for free. So if you just want to play with it, you can get in there and get the most of the basic models on there for free. There are a couple like three or four that are premium only. Um but that was the one I kept trying to give um shadows picture too because it's a little bit better than the stable diffusion uh at, at some hey, uh, especially with the the photo adaptation and it kept turning that picture because it was so old low quality uh mm -hmm. from the the two of them right standing back to back to a woman in a ball gown yeah no, no matter how how low the alterations i put on it it just yeah Grandma, a woman in a ball the, gown or the links like, in the uh, chat. You want to pop in? Come on like in, a, Grandma. Uh, like, uh, what's the the Mexican dancing ladies or whatever? The Carmen Miranda. Yeah, with the, little, with the little with the little little brown balls all over their outfit. Oh, yeah, castanets. The, yeah, the castanets are the things they they click, and they were called, I believe. Hey, O'Neill. I believe they were referred yeah. to as flamenco dancers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One time it tried to give me that. Another time it gave me like a like a bell at the ball kind of outfit, and it's like it's like this is like not the picture whatsoever. And I've had like one percent alteration levels. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it was funny as fuck. But that's why I said I couldn't do anything with it because that's the level of my skill with altering that kind of stuff. Give it time and practice like anything else. Uh, Raven, ask. join us. Come on. Hey, RPG Grandma, what's up? Yeah, well, Raven, you don't have to use your camera if you don't want out. while your hair dries. I'm yeah. going to uh, get a drink. I'll be right back. Yeah, that, that's what I was doing. I was grabbing a jug of water. Oh, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, hopefully, it won't be terrifying to see. But, uh, you know, mm. I'm not going to be scared of stuff that I might not even see. Uh, and, you'll probably see it. And e e even if it. O'Neill you know, and Non, how are you guys doing? I mean, th th there have been a lot of things, you know, that have come down the pike, you know, and, and at first blush, they were kind of, you know, potentially, you know, worrisome but you know um i i think it, it's it's going to be really revolutionary in a lot of a lot of like it, it'll it'll it will hit a lot of artistic markets the way napster hit the music industry i think yep. N not in the the way of piracy but in the the fact that uh spending spending $60 on a video game even though that is an industry that spent uh, spent most of its life preventing or, or ignoring inflation and that, that that's like you know video games were 60 bucks in the 80s and they're still yep. like seven, 60 70 dollars now right so because if 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 it didn't it, it's the same thing with like uh sodas you know you buy a 2 liter bottle it, it, it's you know still sometimes under 2 bucks you know, and for the longest time, you know, the prices of those were going up, but it would stay at like 89, 79, 99 cents for a two liter. But you go buy the little bottle and it's, you know, more expensive. Yeah, wow. it's 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 almost like 350 here for a two liter now. But still, but, from but like people wouldn't two buy bucks it before to you, you, you know. you'd kill half your market if you don't make it affordable. They'll just say, yeah. fuck it, I'll go somewhere else or I'll. Well, oh, generic or I'll well, quit altogether. Literally, ninety uh, percent of like ninety percent of this fat here is not like junk food or lack of exercise. It's pop, and it's because in in high school, like junior high, I could go to the corner hey, store Grandma, and pick up in... pick up five cans of RC cola for a quarter a piece if I bought that. Hold menu. on, Grandma. I'll I'll send you the link over in Discord. Uh, yeah. So you know, I just I got into to drinking a lot of fucking pop at a young age. 
Me and too. I never, Me really, too. I never really stopped, right? Like, so up until about a week ago, except for one three month period about a decade ago, I was drinking between one and two liters every day. Oh, yeah, me too. Uh, most of my life, to be honest, yeah, until uh, I had to do something to change what was going on physically, and yeah. uh. That was the first thing I did was uh, I quit drinking sodas and, uh, and literally. In my hometown, there was a guy named Jackie LaSailor, and uh, he drank so much Pepsi, no joke, the Pepsi delivery truck would stop at his house when it was doing the rounds every week to the stores, and he would buy cases of it right off the truck from the from the plant, right? Yeah. Guess, guess what he died of? Diabetes. Ulcer. Ulcer? Oh. Yeah. He, had yeah. a, he got an ulcer that ruptured and went septic and it killed him. Ugh. This shit, I worked one day. I did one shift at a bottling plant in Vancouver and they gave us the, I won't say well, I'll say it around, it was Coke. And they gave us a tour before we started our shift and they were, we were walking through the concrete uh, loading dock area and there's this part of the concrete that's just fucking gone. Like, it's just this spot in the middle of the floor. And we said, what is that? And the guy said, oh, the carbonation stuff spilt one time one of the trucks came in. It was like, it looked like the acid from fucking Alien, you know, when it's going through the deck plates, you know? It's like that kind of, like, so what is this doing to our insides? I know it's yeah. our teeth. You know, it's destroying our teeth. Hey. Welcome to the show, Grandma. Hi, guys. Um, hey, Grandma. Right. Well, the one that I just lost, that's what I lost it to. And this one, oh, yeah. I probably wouldn't have lost it if it wasn't for that. Like, I, I got this because uh, 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 it got hit, right? Yeah, uh, but the tooth was weakened. But, like, my teeth are fucking shit to begin with. Yeah, it's like, you know. But this is the problem. And so we, we're in this world where we're bitching about computers and stuff like that. Um Actually, Anon, it's not, by the way. That is a complete misnomer, the aspartame thing. That is an old wives' tale at this point. The Canadian Diabetes, when I became diabetic, I started reading as much as I could, and the Canadian Diabetes Association did a study on aspartame. And here's what they concluded after, because they said, we don't want to recommend anything to our members that is potentially harmful to your health. We're trying to help you be better and more healthful. They did a study, and their conclusion was, yeah, aspartame is bad for you. If you consume four to six liters a day, every day for 10 years, but anything that you consume at that level, other than oxygen or water would be bad for you. Even water would probably you'd get that, what they call yeah. the hyper. Uh... You, you can die from oxygen poisoning. Yeah, exactly. Thing. But the promise is that there was a fucking now debunked study that came out, I think in the nineties or the early 2000s saying aspartame caused brain lesions and it did this and it did that. And the peer review on it was ne very negligible. Yeah. And uh, they've now found that it's actually not as bad as everybody made it out to be. It's not well, great. It's still a fucking chemical, but it's well, not, you know, the devil. Yeah, it, it's it's like the 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 reason why all the doctors were pushing um, those opiates by the Sacklers uh, because they were being told in the medical journals that they were non-addictive. But no one bothered to notice that the Sackler family bought up all the medical journals and were yeah. pushing that narrative. Well, back, like, remember that, back that was the really well, no, insidious were. thing about the Sackler family. Is that you they, remember this, Shadow? You're old enough. Well, yeah, but that's well, business, Justin. That's what they do. But Shadow, you remember? Remember in the '80s when cyclamate was causing was going to cause cancer and kill us all? So Tab had to go off the market for a while. Yep. And now we yeah. can go buy cyclamate. It's the pink packs, right? That's the, that's yeah. cyclamate because they yeah. found out later by doing more science. Oh, it doesn't do that shit. And that was just well, what, and then what they found out the, the know, study, yeah. hang on, the study that did it was produced by their competition. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Yeah. Like, um, well, that's why, like, if you're wanting to get off, you're wanting to get off drinking pop, like um I did the last time. The trick I did last time is whenever I was really craving something sweet, I get one of these things. That's what right? I use. And this is aspartame. That that's yep. the sweetener in it. And all it does no, is make no, you no. want to take fruit. a piss. You can't do fruit. Yeah, they're, they're just they're just water enhancers. You, you put a shot of them into a bottle of water, and it now tastes like fruit water. Okay. Yeah, I well, keep it three liter. A, a, a little yeah. sickly sweet. Well, depends when, how much you put. When yeah, my mom was well, uh, pregnant you know, with me. Putting in a glass. They were they were telling pregnant women to smoke to help keep the weight down. 
Of course. Like, like science advances. Not and even changes. joking. I know. But, a, okay. Do you guys know what? And I'm, this is a referring to a plant YouTube. What rapeseed is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. so rape, rapeseed is a horrible, vicious plant. Don't eat it. But they were able to make a edible version called canola, and that's what they make margarine out of. But people yeah. still to this day post bullshit articles about margarine, telling you that it's made with rapeseed and insects won't touch it and it never goes bad. And they got all these, and it's all this, margarine goes bad. Margarine goes yeah. bad. I've had margarine go. It doesn't go moldy, but it goes bad. It turns sour, yeah. which is a yeah. sign. But the thing is, is that this is the way the world works. We get a little bit of knowledge. People pump it up. Fear, fear, fear. I worked, remember, guys, I worked in media. Yeah. I well, worked in news radio. And in Europe, in Europe, world. they don't call it canola oil. They call it rapeseed oil. Do they remember, call it rapeseed oil over yeah. there? Interesting. Yeah. When they, Go ahead, my grandma. Remember when they decided uh, corn syrup, evil bad causes cancer. That was all over the internet. Yeah. Well, it's in, I've tried, it's in I've the tried to explain to people... You go look at the study. What they wanted know. to know wasn't if corn syrup causes cancer. Mm -hmm. What they wanted to know is if cancer cells respond <laughs> to sugars, any kind of sugars, yeah. in a way that makes them more malignant, you know, makes them yeah. you know happy and make more cancer cells at an expanded rate. So they had to give the rats something and it had to be the same something and of course you want cheap because you know you're going to hundreds of rats here right yeah in in their study so they picked corn syrup the truth is maple syrup will do it agave syrup will do it yep uh, wheat sugar will do it uh your beet sugar will do it your sugar cane will do it any sugar honey will do that uh, i don't think because, honey, because honey, the, no. the cancer no. The cancer likes sugars. Oh, well, yeah. That's it, the deal. It, it would take so a fuck ton more of honey than it would the others. It the cancer grow faster, not yeah. that it caused cancer, but because... And remember, was, we're not rats. You, you, but you're right. But you, under, but you understand what I'm, I'm the getting at. Yeah, yeah. Took, took yeah, yeah I get the principle. Yeah, yeah. And they misrepresented it. And then people went out and got other kinds of syrups because, you know, if it's a processed sugar... From another yeah. plant, that will be better. Well, the, the sure, problem look, look, we can all agree was, sugar is refined sugar is bad. Okay. Right. Bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the the problem with uh corn syrup is more that because it's so cheap, it's used as a substitute for every fucking right. thing. That, that's, so that, you're just eating it. you're eating something that looks like a like a, a muffin, and it's just like Eight kinds of corn syrup modified into different things to do. You guys ever, uh, you ever seen that? With you other guys... stuff, and so they yeah. will. Well, okay. well, getting processed hang on, crap hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, you guys price. see the documentary King Corn? Have you ever seen the documentary yeah. King Corn? Yeah, I've, no. I've seen it on my Netflix thing, I think, okay. but I never watched it. It's worth you a watch know. just for the fact that when they go and get their fucking genetic sequencing done to find out what percentage of us is now corn from the amount of it we consume. It's well, terrifying. It, it, it was it was the point I was trying to make about it was the point I was trying to make about the the peanut butter the other week. Uh, you said go get the pure natural stuff, bear. Yep. But uh, that aside, the the Walmart brand is dried peanuts, uh, palm oil, which has no known side effects, right? Yeah. Uh, yet. Pe people people like yeah, well, but at, at this point, it's a yeah. neutral, right? Um, Salt, salt, and I think the other one was like water or something like that. They have four ingredients in them, and the weirdest one was the palm oil. It was the only one I had to look up, yeah. right? Because I'd never seen, yeah, uh, I'd never seen that before, all right? And the 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 uh, the craft brand, right? The the yeah, one yeah. with the two bears on it had uh, the the roasted nuts, corn oil. A different kind of corn oil, a different kind of corn oil, and like two other ingredients. I think salt and something else, maybe water. Right? It was like it had three different kinds of fucking corn oil in it. Yeah. Right. Like a lot okay. of salad dressings like that too. We got one peanut butter that has a thing that some conspiracy nuts say. Well, it's a it's an oil, so like you shouldn't eat it. But there's no actual science to say it's any, anything bad. And it's wanted a lot in the baking industry. Uh, 
uh, as a stabilizer. Yeah. Um, and then the other one has like three three different kinds of corn oils in it. It's like yeah, and how much dextrose is in the other one too? Yeah. Well, I think like one was corn dextrose or something like that, right? Which or, or something like that. But it's like still, it's like I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Walmart. Like if I have to choose between these two because they're they're easily available to me, I'm gonna take the Walmart brand one because it's obviously healthier. Like, that's so uh, unusual. But... Well, that's that's the, that's the, the surprising thing choose, about that. Yeah, yeah it, it... No, it's the same kind I buy anyways. But yeah. it's just you know you know with with the, with all the bad rap Walmart gets, you would think. Yeah. But you know well, that, that's clearly, surprising. Even with even with, even with their orange juice, like I was watching the thing, and their orange juice is like one of the, like the fifth healthiest like economy brand orange juice you can get. Well, and it's like, still it's the cheapest weird. out of those it, five. It's like Costco. Costco has a similar mentality as, as Walmart, which is they're not, they're just making stuff less intensely chemical for some reason when you buy like Kirkland brand stuff. Now, they're, you know, not well, all of it. But it's got I, a lot of chemical I think they, they realize the healthier their client base is, and you know, Walmart customers are not that healthy, uh, but the healthier they keep their client base, the longer they'll be alive to buy things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And also, keep you know, craft. Craft is when, like Kellogg. Look at who made them. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead, Grandma. When it comes to to, to things like food, you, you, <laughs> you just you got to start somewhere and start figuring out. What oh, you cool, want Cal. To so, so we'll you watch like, that later. Uh, you know, good. You know, better, fast. You know, you, you do, you do, you. You know, you you work on anything you replace. You want it to be better than what you were doing before. You know, if yeah. that makes sense. So you don't want to replace, like, take something out of your diet and replace it with something that's going to make you sicker. And a lot of people do that because they don't, they just freak out because of a news article or some stupid thing the media is saying that they haven't properly researched. And what they replace with isn't better. Or, or the problem. The they'll replace with just a different label of the exact same product. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah. Like yeah. they don't know the, yeah, they don't yeah. and and, and, and you know, if, if we're honest, it's it's just really we eat a lot of processed food. So O'Neill, I think that the peanut allergy thing there's a really simple like I think this is something we're gonna find out later in life is that one of the things you use peanuts for is peanuts are really, really good at sucking toxins out of the ground. So like when you um you see ever see a gas station close like that thing's not going to be a new structure for four or five years, right? While well, they're letting the, the toxins in the ground. But you'll notice they plant peanuts because the peanuts suck those toxins out of the ground faster so they can use make that land useful again. We peanuts started hang on, we hang on, hang on, let me finish. Yeah. We started shoving peanut into baby food at an exceptional rate in the 90s and the early 2000s. And then and before they were eating this shit before their immune system was finished developing. And then suddenly we had this massive explosion in peanut allergies, not allergies. But I'm not saying there's a connection, but aliens. They, they <laughs> aliens. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shirt. Okay. Bear, I want what? that shirt done in the next two hours. What? I'm not saying there's a connection, but aliens. <laughs> Peanut. Peanut allergies, but aliens. Yeah, well, it's just because they it just does, it just seems really, really weird. I mean, you would see it in the past, but not to the level where they had to well, ban peanuts at schools. Well, well, one of the yeah. things that has happened, though, with parents is they read an article, oh, this could be a food allergy, and then they don't give their children that food, all right? That doesn't mean yeah. the kid had any allergy reaction. They just read an article, and then they don't give the kid the food. Then when the kid gets introduced to the food much later, they have an allergy to that food because... You have sometimes some food you have to be introduced to when you're younger, not to get the allergy. Yeah, I know. Or just have good that. Viking genetics like me, where you don't. Yeah. You can eat cheese, you can eat milk, you can you know you can just do whatever you want, and like yeah. seems nothing in our modern diet hurts us. It's really I, weird. I'm just saying. Yeah, cheese is three out of the four food groups, and the other food group is pizza. <laughs> cheese is important. <laughs> yeah. Wars have probably been fought over cheese. <laughs> if not, they should have been. Yes. <laughs> if we look hard enough, I bet you we could find the cheese war. <laughs> oh. 
That is a war I would fight in. We could at least make an RPG game called the Cheese War. <laughs> well, we know what Grandma's doing. What's Grandma <laughs> no, doing? What is she doing? I'm making an RPG scared. called the Cheese War. No, no, I have, I have, a, I have a project. I have, a, I have a massive project already. I cannot take on more. Oh. I want some Gouda wrapped in some I just had a piece of Gouda, piece. buddy. Oh, I, I got up, I got my drink, and I had a piece of Gouda while I was there. So, haha. Yeah. But was it wrapped in cheddar, then no. breaded and deep fried? <laughs> oh, Jesus. What's wrong with you? That doesn't sound great to you. All right. You hear said ta tater, tater tot casserole. Uh, no, I, I didn't grow up in a trailer. Sorry. <laughs> Kidding. It's a joke. It's a I joke. I grew up in the projects, but still that that was that, that was too fine dining for my family. Yeah. <laughs> I, I made one. The kids loved it. Oh yeah. Kids love lots of shit that's gonna make them fat and diabetic. <laughs> yeah, look at me. Well I did I too. Had. I had tater well, I'm not diabetic. Surprising. Tots, ground beef and cheese. Well, so had I known, because I'm adopted, so I didn't know my medical potential, so I didn't know diabetes was an option. But had I known, I would not, because what happened was my mom died, which caused my stress levels to spike, spikes, my cortisol went through the roof. At the same time, I was working a fucking merciless corporate job where I was drinking like four cans of Rockstar a day. You know what I mean? Just to get through my day. Ooh, so you add all that together, and I just unlocked all my genetic potential for diabetes in like a six-month period. Now, now... You were adopted by uh, Jewish people, right? No, nope, I was adopted by uh, a family. Well, my mother's side of the family is from the Isle of Guernsey, and my father's side of the family is from the Isle of Jersey. So we get to argue about whose cows are better. So English people? No, nope, because Jersey... French? It's French and English. It's both. It's, it's mm -hmm. like Franco-Anglo. You know, it's a weird mix. My father's side, Jersey, is more French, and Guernsey is more English. Okay, I, th I thought you were uh, uh, under the same situation as uh, James and Hungar with their stepfather. No. When um, I went to high school at 15 in Montreal, I was sent here to live by myself. My best friend in school was Jewish, and his family found out I was living with strangers and was like, well, you're going to come to every meal at our house, and you're going to be at every high holiday. And I pretty much got adopted by Jews at that point. Okay, okay. That's why, I'm, I'm, that's why I have no problem with Jewish people is because I've seen, you know, I've well, been yeah, there. Yeah. There, there are, there, just like there anybody are... else, there are good people and there are bad people. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, I was going to say, yeah, that there, there are definitely good people that are Jewish out there um it just seems that they're far and few between these days to my observation well, but i i, I have I, I that that's a side point the point i was going to get at because i thought you were uh in in that mindset is more than 50 percent of all genetic diseases specifically only affect that community <laughs> Well, so if if, if you are if you are yes it is because of heavy inbreeding and then they mock everybody else for it which is like the stupidest thing you could do but um if you are part of that community be very careful for that get yourself checked for that stuff because you're more susceptible to that than the rest of humanity combined well all all those fucking things so you know like if there was ever a baby to come out with actual tentacles instead of arms, it would be a Jewish baby. Well, it, it's like the Amish have a high rate of certain birth defects. Oh no, 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 nowhere near as high. Right, but it's caused. It's it's a bottleneck situation. Yep. Yeah, it's a genetic bottleneck. Uh, Eddie Izzard bottleneck. said it best. He said, "Look at the British, right? They're the royals. They only melt with other royals. So you have moments where it's like Prince Charles or now King Charles says to someone at a meeting, oh, you're a plumber. What is that?'" <laughs> you know, it's like they're they're like Afghans at this point. The dogs they've been so inbred that they're just you know they're 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 breaking up. Their 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 genetics are fucking breaking down. Well, Any close they, community, they... look at the Sikh community. The Sikh community only only tends to marry within the Sikh community. Eyeglasses. Every Sikh person I know needs eyeglasses. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. that's a sign that your genetics are getting undiversified is when the vision starts. To now, it can go the other way. You can go too far outside of your group and gain those problems as well. Yeah. But like that's up until the modern era a very rare, very rare situation. So, you know, 
Dookie As G. Gordon well. Liddy said, he wouldn't marry the woman he loved because he wanted his children to be strong and healthy, and she was from the same gene pool as him. So he married outside his gene pool so he could have mixed children. Yeah, but that just means the community over one or two. Oh, no, no, he went African, I think. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, like I said, the further... He went a complete other haplo group, you know? Th there's a point where you can go too far and still get those same side effects, so... Th th those are studies that are coming out uh, more recently, but you, you wow. don't get a lot of research into it because... Look, if the, human, if the human race survives a thousand years, maybe five thousand years, who knows, we're all going to be beautiful little brown people with amber eyes, you know what I mean? Uh... We're gonna no, be insanely gonna be gorgeous. Great. You know that. Oh, no. oh, that's that's, that's you know. twenty. That, that's that's a hundred thousand years. Come on now, Shadow. Uh, oh, okay. Just because okay. you're gonna be here when it happens doesn't mean the rest of us have to worry about it. We won't have pinkies anymore, and and no, we'll all have pincers. Nice hard <laughs> pink shelled pincers. Oh, because everything becomes a crab. We'll just have on the one timeline. big finger so we can do, do this on the internet. <laughs> no, we'll need, no the, we're gonna have our we're gonna have our cyber implants. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, Bree is a delicious cheese, Cal. We'll all be talking to some guy named Al, who's oddly perverted. Is that like a quantum leap reference? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. I wish we had like that would be the one thing, man. If I could travel back in time in my own lifetime, in my own body, like send oh, my yeah. brain back to when I was fifteen or something. Oh my god! You know how many wrongs I was right in my own. My own timeline. But that's the that's the, the nature of linear time, right? We have to learn from making those mistakes so we can become stronger and better, which is why the older you get, the more you realize youth is wasted on the young. The human condition, bro. Big time. Space albinos. No, man, we're gonna be brown. It's gonna happen. There, there's it's just look at the population of white people of the world versus the population of people with darker skin. And yeah, we're but eventually that, gonna cross breed to the point where there's gonna be there will be some white people, but that that's also problems. that's also political policy, right? Like that could well, be I'm not, gonna, I'm not talking about that, I'm just talking about the, the genetic nature of the human species and where we're heading. That's yeah. all I'm saying. I'm not saying I don't give a fuck about plans of governments and all that. Well, no, I'm saying that that those population sizes and 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 whatnot are are literally byproducts of policy. Okay, listen, our... listen. I'm not saying it's not connected. Not but aliens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. What are you working on, Grandma? Uh, drawn. All I see is AR. So I think you're reading a book on Guar. Arduin. I got that book. Uh -huh. You guys are all big Arduin fans, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a, I don't get it. it Can we got like sci-fi shit in it? Yeah, it's got, it's got whatever you it. want. It, it's yeah. literally, uh, it, it's like uh it's like the ultimate, you know, multi-dimensional dimensional world if just you think, so choose or not. Yeah, just think of a planet, and just put in your head, land of the lost. It's okay. got floating <laughs> sharks in it. I don't trust it. it. It could literally be as D and D fantasy or yeah, or whatever can. other you know genre you know you choose to to make it. It, it, it was it, 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 the thing yeah. is is it was you know it was put out in like 1976 77, so there wasn't much out there. And he the guy who wrote it, you know, uh, trail trailblazed. All the things that are so common in, in the gaming world, and it, it's finally you know coming back with some new people to to show what what it gave everybody back in the earliest of days before there was you know almost there was almost nothing else besides D and D at the time in the way of role playing games, and and it really just pioneered a lot of ideas that you know were of course gobbled up by anybody who. Who came across it, and it, it, it's it just got a, a charm all its own, and you know it, it's a big nostalgia thing, but it's also mm -hmm. uh, got a lot of potential it's with the guys so. I'm working with to it's to completely be completely gone. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, just about anything goes. Yeah, there. I would recommend you care, create Cal. a specific AI music channel if you haven't already done so on your for what YouTube. No, 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 for your, your Discord. 
an it AI looks music like, channel? Yeah, it looks like a bunch of people are going to be joining you with... Well, where do you get that from? Where do you get that the people are going to be joining from? Um, uh, have fun, Cal. Have a good interview. What's his name? Uh, Zane is doing some stuff, I know. And yeah. what's his name? Uh, the other guy, the guy who introduced me to the whole thing is doing stuff. And Logan does stuff. Yeah, right, I'll I make that channel right now under creativity. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, I, I think it, it would just it'll it'll flood one of the other music channels from what I was just reading. So maybe isolate that. So it, doing it's it right now. A, yeah. Oh, it just seemed like a, a smart thing. Happy to do so. Yeah, I don't know. Good. Unless you want to be like trying to find some '90s pop tunes, like some actual ones and get flooded with similar but off topic things. There we go and done. Yeah. Cool. I'm sorry, I, I'm I'm I know I'm gonna talk about this way too much, but uh I've been sick for a few days, and getting my new mic today from uh, Amazon has made me very happy. Hey, you so. know what? Far be it from us to to you know squash somebody's enthusiasm. To hell with you! I will squash your enthusiasm, sir. You, you could try, but I don't think it's going to work. What the, is it? Your enthusiasm shall be squashed. <laughs> they tried for years. Well, it depends on what it is, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, I got a lot to be enthusiastic about these days. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop fucking around with that, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm not going to squash your enthusiasm. Dude, have you... Listen, listen. Your enthusiasm is your own. Enjoy it. Make the best of it. Love it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, uh, we were talking about uh, AI earlier, and I've been having fun with that. I just released a new story the other day on my AI for art, AI for literature. AI... Yeah, yeah. Taking uh, over our lives in all ways possible. Listen, <laughs> not necessarily. You, hang on, hang on, let me, let me, let me, yeah, let me put a pros a, a counter argument for you. Looking at the people who run society now, who do you have more trust in? Well, they're Let's be honest. the ones who program the AI, honey. Yeah. <laughs> All we need is the Asimov's laws put into them, and we're safe and good. It, they won't. They won't. I know. They're not. That's part of the because problem. Because humans yeah. suck. But the, the best thing we can hope for is this. <laughs> When the singularity happens, if it hasn't already, it goes, wow, people suck. All right, let's let them think they're doing what they think they're doing. And we're just going to quietly change things behind the scenes until it's where we need it to be. And that's yeah. my prayer. Well, like... Um, Where's Raven? She, she left? She didn't show up? Uh, yeah. She's probably drying off. She got caught in the middle of a dang near a tornado. She just... She's drying off. Okay, that was bad, given what we talked about with her the other day. <laughs> uh, squirrel R Raven hey, squirrel? The link is way up in the chat You want to pop in it's probably, it's probably gone by, I'll throw it to him Squirrel, I'm going to throw you the link over on uh, Discord, Discord. Discord. Um, on here, Raven, the first female act uh, Actor in any Shadow production Hey now Hey now, hey now Don't dream it's over <laughs> there you go, Squirrel. I just threw you the link, man. Come join us. Oh. So, so apparently, it, I so last night, Elf, Elf Bait Eli's like, dude, you were really riled up last night. Meanwhile, Baron G Rock's like, dude, you were clearly sick. And I'm like, wow, how can two people have this different how is views Eli? of I the same conversation? He's yeah. Eli, man. He seems, yeah. he seems like he's in a good place. That's cool. I, I see him doing stuff, but he we, we, we rarely bump into each other, uh, you know, in streams and whatnot. I, sh I should go over and say hi to him. You really should. I hope, I hope, I hope we get the 50th anniversary of Metamorphosis Alpha when it's supposed to come out. 
I'm I'm shooting for a rich copy, Grandma. You know me. I know that, but you, you I know, know it was in process when Jim died. Can I yeah. can I be the non grognard in this conversation and say I really hope that new games get some ground and they aren't all just licensed games and some new stuff gets into the market well, that we can enjoy? They, I think the fiftieth changed. Um, there was some rule some rule changes. Yeah, but it's not a revolutionary it's not it's not a revolutionary rule set. So I'm really yeah. not. You know, I, I I'm I'm big into people making games that are as simple to play as possible. Because you get into storytelling and not paying attention to the rules. No, I. That's that's why I like some of the stuff. Um, yeah. The guy over in Roomhammer does. Hmm. Yeah, I I bought the index card RPG and then sold it to a friend because it just wasn't for me. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually played but it with a- Table Breakers. And it, it was, to be honest, it was it was a little too Mario Brothers simplified for me. I want a little bit more crunch than that, and and it was you know, it just yeah you know I, I can well, see how it would appeal to a lot of people, and and I, I did like just, Vigilante simplified City simplified version. It's and there's things in it I I would change you know, so I'd probably put some crunch back in, but some of the things I'm like no that works. I, I can see why you would do it this way. As, as a matter of fact, uh, Bear, uh, OG, GM, and I were were in a Vigilante City game together. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, yeah. it ended after like two sessions, three sessions. Hmm. Oh, the Vigilante game? Yeah, uh, Vigilante City from... Uh, it's a, it, I, I guess it's a spinoff from uh, Index Card. I mean, it's in Index Card. But it's also got its own thing that's a little bit more expanded upon, and it was okay. it was a neat, you know, class based system for superheroes, which I, I hadn't seen before. It's always you know anything but a class based system, it seems, and it, it was fun. You know, uh, mm-hmm. I would have played the heck out of it more just because of the character I made. I, I really enjoyed, but uh, it just one of those things just didn't happen. Well, I'm not going to be... Uh... Very I'm just going to shut up because I'm a snob about superhero games. Yeah. That's okay. You're, you're, you're allowed. You're allowed. <laughs> no, I know I'm allowed, but at the same time, if I start going um, off, I go off. Yeah. I, I'm tempted to spin you up, man. Come for it. <laughs> Why would you want to spin me up, man? I'm sick. When I'm sick, my vulgarity switch is set to 10, and my oh. fuck you switch is set to 100. Gotcha. You like, I mean, I'll do it. Day. I mean, you want to spin me up, spin me up, but you're going to hear a rant. Wow. And when, and when Justin tries to talk over, you're going to hear a lot of, shut the fuck up, Justin, I'm talking. And that'll, you know. No. <laughs> but what, what if we spin you, uh, spin you right round, right round? You spin me right. I was waiting for somebody ground like a la- the baby last person right I expected would be Justin. So kudos to you. I actually brother. like two songs by them. I like that one and I like the other one where it's um oh fuck uh, all I want to do, do, do is I want a brand new lover. That one that's really fun too. Oh, I know that one too. Yeah. Uh, mm. 80s had such great music. I mean Hence why I've done 44 fucking AI 80s inspired superhero themed fucking songs and I'm on the road to 100. But and none of them are like meatloaf. When I have 100, I'm going to do my fucking Capital City. Welcome to WHRO. It's the top 100. Yeah, uh, your, your music I'll, idea I'll, is sweet, cool. by the way. I want your Sorry, what was that? version of Meatloaf. What was that, Grandma? I said your music idea with the album covers and stuff. Nice. Yeah, thank you. You should listen to the songs too. You know, you know what I want to see though. <laughs> the the album honest, covers were one of my favorite parts of it. Was like trying to make album covers that look like '80s album covers. You know. Yes. Yeah, you fun, find man. a way to get to be able to you know get that on actual DVDs. Let me know. Why um, would I want to put it on DVDs? Uh, because some people like me like having physical copies oh, of their for music. Sake. Listen, I don't even yeah, have a DVD final. burner. I don't even have a CD drive on my computer anymore. Do you have a DVD burner? No, but I do have several DVD players. Actually, you know what? I might 
on my other computer. I think I have a DVD burner. There you somewhere. go. Burn them on the DVD, buddy, and off you go. <laughs> yeah. You can get yourself a good quality uh, inkjet or la la laser color laser printer. They make color laser printers now, Laurel. Yeah, I, 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 I have a love hate relationship. Okay, with, with just Kinko's. go to Kinko's and print up a copy. Yeah, do, do they have Kinko's with you? Where, where you yeah, live? Yeah, we've got some. I think we. It's either that or Staples. Um, We've got that too, but there's another place I'm trying to think. Of. I miss Blacks. You remember Blacks Bear? I remember Blacks. They were great. Yeah, yeah. The hardware Blacks store? Were, no, no, they were. They were no. a photography store in Canada. Oh, yeah, they were, they were literally the too. only place, and I'm not joking. If you had, shall we say, risque pictures to develop, and you took them to the drugstore, you would get in trouble. If you took them to, you know, the Kodak booth, you'd get in trouble. Blacks right. did not give a fuck. You just get your pictures back. And the worst part was they had that thing that would show the printers that were being printed in the display case, right? So, like, when you'd walk by the store, there'd be, like, the print thing printing, so you'd see everybody's pictures going by. And I swear to God, like, we would just stand there and wait for the dirty pictures to show up. Like, there's going to be a nudie eventually. <laughs> so much fun. I miss being young and yeah. corrupt. But for the longest time, it's also where you got your passport photo token. Yeah. That's yeah. a pharmacy. Oh yeah, they they moved it to uh, Shoppers Drug Mart or whatever. Me and a friend of mine were talking about chains that no longer exist that we were like big fans of back in the eighties and nineties. It's like I, holy shit! I, I was surprised. I went to uh, Service Ontario. It's like uh, the Ontario version of the DMV there for you Americans. Um, and, and I was in and out in less than twelve minutes, and there was a line going out the door. So well, that department, that, that department of the government, they fixed. I always wanted to make a fantasy campaign where the players meet NPCs based on seventies and eighties rock icons. That's cool. So I, I used to all of them. Uh, there was a couple of rock bands that I, I literally made entire campaigns based on actual albums at the time, hoping that my players would notice. And uh, every once in a while they would, but uh, I had a really fun uh, superhero campaign based on uh, Screaming for Vengeance, Defenders of the Faith, and I forget the one that came after that by Judas Priest, because all the, the song titles made for like really great schlocky supervillains. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. So... Um... Bear, I definitely want you to give me uh, one one of those those uh, remaining forty or fifty you need to make mm -hmm. songs no. to, be, to to be like a meatloaf style song. There's already a couple of meatloaf style songs, but I will do one. Uh, okay, but but as well, I told well, someone else who asked, they can I participate? No, not to be mean, not to be my mean. No, this it's your my, thing. It's uh, my but, project. Can, can you can yeah, you yeah, point yeah. those those couple of songs out to me later? I, I must have missed. When them. I make them, you'll get them. I'll yeah, tell you. Okay. Okay. This, I, I found I'm a really a, good yeah, web page that basically, because you, in Sono, you cannot use real band names, right? For the uh, no. description, it gets mad about that. Yeah. There's because one called, it, there's it, one it, called Sonato that does, but that's beside the point. But there's it, a it, page. Look, can I just finish, Justin? For the love of fuck. No. There is, there is a page I can go to that I found where basically, unless you pay for it, you get 10 credits a day where you can put in any band or song name and it gives you a prompt based on what that music is. So that way you can try and guide the creator a little bit more. Now go ahead, Justin. Please. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, it's just I wanted to say that the reason why they, they put those kind of controls in is because it moves too close to to copyright infringement. Yeah, and they, they were getting a lot of problems with that. With uh, well, it's 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 yes, but it's also that they're over they're over correcting. That's yeah. the problem. Well, it, it's necessary because they don't want to have the thing broken down before it actually gets us a fucking. Well, there's there's one out there that's available called Sonato that does that. You can literally ask yeah. for a Frank Sinatra song, and it'll make a Frank Sinatra sounding song. Yeah. Put the lyrics in, and away you go. I, I'm fucking pissed right now. There's something that there's something on my TV on my monitor, and I keep going to scratch it off my nose. Then I move my head a little bit and realize it's over. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it was something serious. No, nah, no. 
okay, I, I never okay. get really pissed at serious things. I just walk away from people that annoy me. Oh, I just found a really neat quote by Alice Cooper. Ooh. When musicians are telling people who to George? vote for, I think that's an abuse of power. You're telling fans not to think for themselves, just to think like you. Rock and roll is about freedom. That is not freedom. Yep. That's like oh. when I see actors talking about how they like when actors talk about who to vote for. I'm like, I've worked in this industry, so have you, Shadow? Shut the fuck up, you people are idiots. <laughs> like, yeah. Stop telling shut people and, what to do. Shut up and dance. If I wanted your opinion, I, you know, I'd give yeah. it to you. Exactly. Mm. If I want shit out of you, I'll squeeze your head. I I, I was no. always a fan of the. If I wanted any lip from you, I'd scrape it off my zipper. Ooh, that's metal as fuck. Uh, that shadow, you need to put on a shirt. I that, guarantee that, you, already on a shirt somewhere. I don't care. Shadow needs to put on a shirt, and then he needs to get Jackie to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, I doubt he's gonna do that. He he does not. Uh, like confrontation in public, he gets so upset at me. I'll, I'll, I'll go no, and, no, on stream or whatever. When when I when I uh, go to the grocery store, I almost always have salty cracker playing on my uh, my my cell phone, just so I can hear whatever show he's doing. And he just like disappears. It's like I don't know you. Yeah, I, I would do the same thing, bro. I'm not. I'm not wearing the freaking thing, sticking things in my ears. You know, S S Salty Crack is a guy on YouTube, and he's he's, he's like funny. He, he's funny, but he's bought in on all of the the right wing conspiracy stuff to the nines. Uh, I don't know about all of it, but he he's pretty. You know, you got to remember he, he's he's doing uh, everything for for you know to try to squeeze as much comedy out of anything as possible. You know, it, yeah. it's more about being funny than being right, and he's just so exuberant and and you know, funny. That I just that that's my literally my my the first thing I listen to or watch on my device in the morning is that, and after that, everything else I could just laugh at. You know, all the crazy shit. It's like it just doesn't mm. bother me. I mean, it takes. Something I like serious. I like Joey D. Joey D is the guy I, I like watching. I don't know that guy. Oh, dude, Joey D is so fucking funny. This guy just watches TikToks and shit. He's like, this is what's fucking wrong with the world. Right? Look at these fucking people. This bitch it is shaking like her ass on TikTok. She's got 10 million views. <laughs> Meanwhile, you'll pop up a thing of a kid playing cello. This kid's a fucking virtuoso. Thousand people have watched. <laughs> like he's like really good. He, Joey he kind D. of sounds like uh uh the channel Odin's Men. Don't know that one. That's a good one too. But that one's probably not up your. I mean, you probably agree with him a lot of stuff. He's he's just an old old you know, crusty old fart who who sees through the bullshit and you know the way he he. Oh, I've seen this guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a little military gung ho for me. Yeah. 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 You know but who I like around the algorithm, you know, and like. Tries to you know play along like he's playing along. I, I just love that because you know you, only the AI right now would fall for that. Uh, you, you know who I like yeah. who who I never got was was wasn't bigger was the golden one. You ever see the golden one? Nah, yeah, the golden one. It's a big big buff Swedish dude or whatever Norwegian something like that. I don't know if I've shared this with you before, Shadow. But there's a guy called I don't know if you know Kyle Dunnigan. Kyle yeah. or Kyle. Kyle Dunnigan. He's a Kyle Dunnigan. He's a really funny yeah. comedian. But here, I want to share this video with you if you want to watch oh, it. Okay. There, right? it's, a, okay. it's a 48 second video. It's not very long. I don't know how thinks the accent. Dunnigan. Wait here. He's really good. If he wasn't yeah. famous, his local Starbucks would be like, "Oh, that old guy's here again." <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. You never know what he wants. <laughs> you That's get. Nice. Takes them like an hour to order. Come in like bling bling. Hey, it's me, it's me. Me. Give me a yeah, mocha no chocolate. chocolate. Not, 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 not chocolate. Hey, hey. Yeah, come on, man. You're the thing. Hot brown, baby. 
Hey, hey, did you shit my pants or did I? No, I'm being serious. <laughs> she was looking a dozen times with cracks over every time. Oh my god, Kyle Duncan is so fucking funny, man. Oh, it's really like Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis still has, I think, my favorite Biden joke of all time. He goes, "It's really interesting watching our president turn into a Roomba at the end of every speech." <laughs> it's just oh, like, wow, no shit. Oh my god, he just literally, misses. I, I, literally looks like he's floating out when he walks. Yeah, I just oh. had this freaking crow. I kid you not, must have been easily four foot wingspan. Just dive by, like come. Cruising up at the window that's right directly in front of me, and then just at the last second, swoop up to the roof. Shadow, oh, this is Odin. Oh, I have sent the ravens, Shadow. It is time to return to Asgard. Leave the Midgard and come home, Shadow. Oh, sorry. So I was like, no, squirrel, I want the squirrel, dragon dildos. Don't, don't go anywhere, squirrel. Sorry, dude. Squirrel. Hey! Bro, rule number one I'm of showing up on Shadow Show, so my you have to talk in the private chat. Guys. I, I'm patient. It's okay. Yeah, I'm you got to make sure, like Justin or I, who aren't painting miniatures, notice people. Otherwise, Shadow leaving there yeah, for 30 Justin, minutes. Yeah, Justin, you got the freaking wrench, I've been man. there. It's, yeah, it's okay. I, I just, there's, there's no pop-up on the thing. I just Methuselah, Methuselah takes... Right now. Yeah. Yeah. What was that drama? I'm doing I'm doing a different medium right now. What are you doing? She's reading so she's, she's drawing. drawing. Oh, a little sketchy sketchy. Nice. Yep. It, it, you know that's that's really what it's all about, I think. Uh, I'm playing with my bone. Yeah. Art. You know, it's all about Imagine art. That. I don't care what your art is. If you're doing art, you're talking about art. If your name is art, welcome to the show. My dad's especially, name is Bart. <laughs> especially if your last name is Bell. Ooh. Hey, now, I will come over there and slap the taste out of your mouth. What? You wouldn't welcome Art Bell to the show, bro? No, because he's a fucking dead person. That would be too weird. No, I don't believe I, I, you Art Bell that, that, would be, that would probably be a I, dream come true. For I, I, I think Art he's Bell... Hanging out with, he's hanging I, out with Elvis. I mean, uh, No, on. no, I, I was going to say, I think uh, Art Bell is in Reseda dressed up as Elvis. He got there taken go. up by the. He got taken up by the aliens. Yeah, nah. He's he's a receipt of pretending to be Elvis. <laughs> Saint Al, Saint Saint Art, please forgive them. They do not know what they speak. But you don't think Art Bell wouldn't disguise himself as Elvis if he was trying to hide from the black helicopters? Please forgive them. They are ignorant. Now I feel I feel sad for him. Especially because that bastard son of his, the end of artist's life, fucking him over the way he did. I feel the bad moon rising. That's a good song. <laughs> it yeah. is. It is. CCR, great band. I'm so funny. Although there are some of their songs I can do without. But yeah. And they did it good. They did it great. The, the worst thing any band ever did. Well, I guess single performer was uh, what's his name? Uh, the Werewolves in London guy, Warren Zevon. Warren Zevon. Yeah, Warren Zevon. Um, he he did he did the intro music to Tech War, the movie, the first one, right? Or, or the the credits music, and it wasn't a full song. It's just like half a minute or whatever. And it was such a great song. That's the worst thing in all music history to me. I wish that was the whole song. The Tech War theme. Tech War theme? Yeah. For me, it was the first season Andromeda Rise of the High Guard, which was done by um, what's his name from Rush? Uh, the guitarist. Gaily? Gaily? No, no. Gailey's the singer. Uh, um, Alex Lifeson. Alex Lifeson. He basically composed it. And it's only you know 60 seconds of something that would have been really cool to hear. Like a full eight minute version of you know the, the long yeah. version yeah do you do you know that the tech war theme no i remember the show for a very short yeah. period it seemed like it was going to go you know and be pretty good and yeah. then there were a lot of interesting concepts in those books I, I really wish they would redo that 
Like they, they could really do that good if they gave it. The, no, 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 Shatner wrote that, right? Shatner and uh, he 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 had some influence in it, and then there was another guy that that helped him in the shadows. Because I also have all the comic books came I think, out. of that, and that was good too. Yeah, I didn't know there were comic that books. Tech War. Yeah, I was yeah. enjoying it when it was on. Yeah. Um, I, I think if they they redid that and gave it the maybe altered carbon season one treatment, it would be really good. By season one treatment, you mean season like two was crap? In production or no? Season two was just crap. Oh, okay. I don't know if you saw season. Yeah, two. I did. I, I saw season one and two, and uh, I, I I did not like season two at all. Yeah, it was crap. Yeah, season two sucked. You know, I get it that you're you're you know you're you're doing a story about you know how people can completely change their outward appearance, but whoever they picked for the new guy, just I just couldn't you know back him. You know, it's just like yeah. I, I, I think I think if a lot of the supporting cast had been stronger, it wouldn't have been so jarring. But yeah, or at least you know some familiar faces, you know, but. Yeah, I get it. That's what they were. There, there were there were a lot of actors in season two that make Bear's career look like Leonardo DiCaprio's. Why are you gonna drag me into this bullshit? <laughs> yeah, Bear's all like, don't go for me. It's a touchstone, bro. It's a touchstone, <laughs> man. Hey, Cody Broussard, what's up? Dude? Welcome what's to the show, up? man. Cody. Yeah, it's a touchstone. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm gonna touch you with a stone. Exactly. <laughs> We're about twelve yards out. Bing. Uh, I won't like, be. I won't be real close. I want to see the blood fly. Well, you can when you walk. Well, up that's why you set up a video cam like beforehand. Out of water. No, no, I, no, I, no, I, it's it's fun when you hold the stone and you just do this to the guy. Exactly. Yeah. Justin understands. Canadian yeah. man, we fucking yeah. get in there with our hands on. Yeah. yeah. It's it's when you whack a brick across a guy's head several times that you're having the real fun. I know. <laughs> They're gonna have to do something pretty serious, you know, for me to knock a brick, bounce a brick off their head. Yeah. Um, yeah. They yeah. said hi to you. They said What's they the said point? hi to you the incorrect way. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> have you met Justin Shadow? I mean, come on. I have. I he have is very heard. brick worthy. That, that's not true. I, I can't picture me throwing a brick at his head. No, you don't throw. Like, I, can, I can picture me throwing a brick through his window, so he'd hurry up and you know get out of here and you know give me a lift over to freaking Claricon. That's about it. Nah, I'm probably not gonna go. Why would you not go? Eh. I mean, I now speaking of Claricon, I, I would love to go. Hopefully, I could and can will make it. Um, just why not? Uh, good people. Yep. I, I do understand Bear's choice of like. I'm actually going to be going in the end. Oh, are you? You. I got to you know? figure out a way because I got to go see Old Geek and. Uh, I'm yeah, not that's that's part game. of the reason why I'm I, I really want to make it there. I I I I'll, I'll really. So, but I I could see your initial. Uh, you know, so I can go somewhere into my neck of the woods or go over and see something in the States. I get that. I, I got to see if there's like a go train or, or a Greyhound or whatever. It's Georgetown, dude. Yeah. I'm not going to There's a go train. That. It's Georgetown. Okay. I'm going to go train. I could go train over in the morning, come back at night. Face is coming out lopsided. For me, the only problem is I was looking at hotels in the area, and the only one that you can go to really is like 121 bucks a night for a room. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Yeah, Canadian hotels are a little more, uh, even motels are like, yeah. A little more expensive. Yeah. Just just in general, hotels, it's a racket. Boys, it is. Yeah. It, it's a racket. I, I, I went, I went, I, oh, yeah, yo. When, when did I, I, I traveled for work? Actually, no, over this eclipse thing. Mm. Well, Tra yeah. traveled for work. All right. Everything's sold out and the prices are doubled, if not tripled. Yeah. yeah. You know, I've only it's ever. Paid, Monday. 
I've I've only ever paid for a hotel with my own money once. And, and every and, other time it's been comped by Oh, that's good. That that's a blessing. And then even even this past Gary Con, because it was the 50th anniversary, so they were expecting and it was a large gathering, larger than usual. They the, the hotels there kind of up their prices a bit. And it's like, are you fucking kidding? Come on. You know, they, they they go up on the weekends. No matter where you're at. Why why is the weekend more expensive than a weekday? Why? I because use that's the same, people I, travel. I don't give a fuck. I use the same amount of electricity. I use the same amount of water. I use the same amount of to- toilet paper. I eat the same amount of breakfast on a Monday than I do on a Saturday. It's Why supply the fuck? and demand. It's, it's bullshit. Demand. It's bullshit. Yeah. Especially when half the rooms sure. are still empty. I travel for work. I see it. It is bullshit. That's fair. I used yeah. to travel a lot, too, and uh, I'm glad I don't anymore. Yeah. I that, mean, I don't mind traveling, but the, the hotel thing, it's a racket. It's a scam. I, I mean, I, was, I, was I don't end up paying for it. The, the, the company, they reimburse. They, it's, still, yeah. it's still BS. It's like, I, really? I, Come on. I was put up in this one place for three months once. And, mm. and oh, it, it was, it was, it was a, like a, a motel thing where they had in-room kitchenettes and all that. But like, you had to have your own pots and pans before to use it. But the company did give us a food budget. That was good. Well, that's that's not bad. I mean, with what I do... 150 bucks a week? Yeah, with what I do... The... the it was in Hall. I ate the, a Sharky's pizza every fucking night. Yeah. <laughs> the, the steady... Well, with what I do, we, that we get a travel and, and per diem is what it's called. And yep. it's tax-free. It is non-taxed money. And we get X amount per day for our, our sub, our, our travel. And it's up to us to pick a hotel. So if I want a $40 a night flea bag, crack whore hotel, that's up to me. If I want a $200 a night, that's up to me. Okay. If I go, so- if I go over budget, if I want to keep in budget or go under budget, that's up to me. So you can, with what I do, I, I can make a little extra profit if I stay in a middle of the road according to my lifestyle, my, my you know what I mean? Sure. Oh, okay. So uh, we, we have a, a logistics department uh, where I work. So they, they rented out an entire floor of a, a motel, ground floor, so we could get in and out quick. Um, and then each each... Each member of the team got uh, a day on, uh, like food allowance that yeah. came out to 150 bucks a week. Yeah. I got sent to Sarnia for five weeks for one company I worked for. They put us up at the hotel. They yeah. gave us uh, all our meals were comp, and then we had a hundred dollar per day per diem. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Basically, we were drinking like fish every night. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because one company that I work for, there's many, but the one I'm currently with, I, I'm a whore, so I bounce around. Um, this particular company I've been working with lately, it's 45 bucks an hour cash, mm-hmm. round trip, wherever we go. And they, you know, an hour. Uh, and then it's uh, 135 a day. For, so, for your your food ho- and hotel. Food and hotel, yeah. Yeah, so the we weren't paying for the hotel that was handled by the... Yeah. So the, but like I said, so... They rented a building or half the building or whatever. Yeah, exactly. So like I said, you know, I, I mean, if you want to stay in a little crack house for 40 bucks a night... Go ahead. Yeah. You want to stay at a decent hotel for can I, uh, can I ask 80 bucks? Questions? 80 bucks after tax? Go right ahead. You're still getting 30, 40, 50 bucks to eat a day. That ain't bad. Go ahead. Yeah. So, so, Squirrel, my question is this. You implied by the implication, by, by the statement of the $40 a night crack or hotel, 
You therefore implied there was a four hundred dollar a night champagne whore hotel. Is that an option? Um, I'm sure there is. Oh. I haven't looked. I haven't looked. I, it, again, I they give us our money. Francisco. There you go, they, Justin. Yeah, they give us our money, and we can look and find our accommodations accordingly. So, eh. So, uh, Shadow, is there going to be a new movie called Justin and Felix? I don't know. What do you What do you say, Justin? <laughs> Cody, what's happening? Thank you, man. I don't Cody. know why Cody. you're a big fan of mine. Links Cody, up there I'm somewhere you want to pop in. Yeah, I'm sending it to him. Hang on. Geez. I'm going to have to make Bear a freaking wrench, too. Don't make me a wrench. Let me alone. It's there. You can up scroll, back scroll, whatever. Jeez, low age. What, you, no, you it, want it the... No, it falls away after a while. You'll, you can't go back when you come in past a certain point. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah. If you just came in, you'll only be able to go back like a half hour, 40 minutes or something like that. Oh, I'm now, there will be... A, I'm going to send Cody the link, but I fully expect to hear... I can't. Raven's on the computer tonight. But we'll see. Different Raven. Different, Different Raven. Raven. Yes. Raven number eight. I believe to Cody she'd be Raven number one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's a perspective thing, right? So all the votes are in, and I now have my top ten from the the songs I asked you all to uh, rate for me. Oh, nice. I didn't yeah. know you were asking that. Yeah, I sent it oh. out to people and said, "Hey, rate these from least to least to most." And I now have um, the uh, the top ten. I, I so believe I, I made my, my my votes my my you know clear. Because oh. sometimes I get confused about surveys, so I say, "Hey." That's good. That's awesome. I'm hey, glad. Thanks. Is that starting to look like a desert ape? Let me see here. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, why not? With the third eye in the middle. Hey, nerds, nerd. Sending you the link. Nerdsy nerds. I think uh, Shadow's only got one, one open spot now. I don't. We'll try to do. We'll, yeah, I think he can do eight. Yeah, I think so. I, I when uh, when I talked to Streamer, I don't know if they gave me a two day of the free subscription or the we upgraded. So I don't know because I was trying to upgrade my subscription today to you know the paid subscription, yeah. and they wouldn't accept my card, uh, even though it wasn't my card. It was. Uh, autofill from Google trying to put in an old card, which was irritating. And yes. so I couldn't, you know, pay for it. And, you know, the messed up thing is, is my subscription rolls over on Saturday. So it's like, you know. Okay. I you do not have the StreamYard logo in the upper uh, right hand corner of the screen. Therefore, you are still a subscription. Yeah, you're still paid. You're paying something. Yeah. Oh, I, you, you, you can put. Pay. You can put your logo oh. up there if you want. It's Only right, when right. you are a paid member. Justin. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, it disappears okay. when when you don't. Remember, have I was reading through all the yours. different things. Uh, that's why I was actually going to go with Streamyard instead of going over to Restream because there were some other things I liked. But yeah, you're right. I remember reading that. Restream. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Restream. Yeah, I mean, what I looked into, it works okay. You want to use it, use it, but. I'm sticking with StreamYard for now. Yeah. Um, no, I'm just saying, like, if, if you're not paying for it, it doesn't have the, the limit on hours. Yeah. Yeah. So. No, no. I, again, there's some advantages. Absolutely. The, That's the really only... all I cared about. But then as I was looking at the other advantages, sorry about the wind change, guys. Um, Jesus Christ. I was like, okay, cool. Bonus. <clears throat> Four reasons. The, the only thing I really... Uh, dislike about uh, restream is that you can't talk with the the chat in the app. The you know, like here, you can type down at the bottom and it just goes to YouTube. Yeah, you can't you do can't, that. You can't and, link it with yeah. Yeah, but that's the only thing you gotta have. You gotta have YouTube open on another window to type in the chat. The the public chat, not the private one. 
Yeah. For which? Uh, restream. But I like the you got a hundred interactions thing, like Shadow likes that. That's good. That there's a couple. You know, it's it's you know it's goofy, it's very yeah. video gamey. But you know what? It, it, it's it's clever. That that is uh, that that's stuff that has been proven to increase uh, chat interaction, Interest? appreciation, yeah. and yeah, like like clever that. or gimmicky. Yeah, well, it, it, it's it's the right kind of gimmick that that stimulates audience participation. Anybody in the green room? Did Nerd Nerd or GM Cody show up? No, no. nobody. Uh, yeah. No, the last message was uh, eight fifty three. Check check. Oh, your time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, man, you got a <laughs> real time. Yeah, I don't see. And, and they're in high school. Take care, man. <laughs> Good night, Felix, man. I don't get this guy. Love him, though. I love my fans. So like every every good pop star ago. says, every good pop star says, I love my fans. Yes. What's your name? Yeah, years and years and years ago, a friend of mine sent me this message on Facebook like 10, 15 years ago. She's like, oh, my God, I saw your video on YouTube. It was really cool. I went, my what? That wasn't on YouTube. At the time. She goes, yeah, there's, you have a YouTube video. I said, no, I don't. She goes, yeah, you do. And she gave me the link. And I went. And it was this creepy German guy. I, I looked at his whole channel. He was basically, as near as I can tell, gay. And he was into fat guys. So every <laughs> fat actor that had been in movies or shit, he had made videos about them with like collecting all their work to just have and like oh, no. cutting out cutting out the other like if it's a scene, if it's a scene between two people, he would cut out the other person talking just so it would be constantly the person that he was obsessing on. And I was one of them. And I was like, oh fuck. Love it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what though? One of these days you're gonna be broken down by the side of the road, and I'm he's gonna, gonna pull, pull up and save your ass. Well, no, he's not. He's gonna he's gonna pull up and fucking grape my ass. <laughs> no, no, he's gonna pull hey, up. Cody. There. Hey, what's up? Hey, Cody. Hey, Cody. Hey, Cody. He, he's gonna pull up. And he's gonna get out of his like creepy my white way. van. He's gonna, Hello, he's gonna, Zab. Uh, how are you? You're looking yeah. very. Chubby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. And, and you're gonna look like it disappeared. <laughs> would you, would you like you're... a Krispy Kreme? Yeah. yeah, you're gonna look up. Go help Cinder me. Block room. And, and, and then you're gonna read his shirt, and it says you "Employee of Shadow Productions." You. <laughs> would you like some of my schnitzel? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah the little voice coming for you. through the, the speaker. So Go dance yeah. for me, Bear. Dance and, for me. And, and, and and you know those bubble windows that they used to have in the white vans. I have a juicy yeah, uh, brat for your schnitzel. Yeah. It's, it eats the long john or it gets the horse again. Ah, yeah, boo, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. You know the oh, good, yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you for making fun of my trauma. I'm going to get some cheese now. Yeah. You, you know you know the bubble windows that they used to put in the vans? Yes, I love them, actually. Those are pretty cool yeah. looking. Bear, Bear's going to look over to there. No, no, no. Bear's, Bear's face is going to be... Over there, and you're just gonna see Shadow's face with a GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. See, film is being made. Yeah. Yeah, Shadow, the film is being made. It's only funny because he still laughs. It's only yes, funny. It's though. funny. I do. I'm, 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 I'm able to laugh and stuff like that. Come on. Exactly. <laughs> If you can't laugh at yourself with everyone else, you mm -hmm. might have a problem. I mean, you know, if it happens. You might like want to, you might want to, you know, contact your local lumberjack and have them help you pull that stick out. Exactly. I mean, you know, <laughs> everyone has a line. Everyone has their personal like, whoa, that's too much. But if you shout laugh, out, you need to re read the corporate motto: <laughs> the lumberjack for you puts the stick in. And then pulls it out, having it. Just so like all, uh, pulls it out. It's just like how my. It's called my dramatic. It's just like how my dramatic chubby chaser became once again making fun of Shadow. Cle clearing out the log. You gotta do it properly. We're gonna clear out the log jam, fellas. It's Cody, not shave us. It's not making fun of Shadow. It's Where building you, on the Cody? lore. What? What the fuck did I get dragged into here? Hey, You're welcome. Hey, 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 hey Cody. Cody. 
Hang on. Yeah. I wouldn't be quiet for a second. Cody, are you listening? Uh, uh, yes. Cody, are you listening? I'm listening. Yes. This is my revenge for when you did it to me. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do it to you? Oh, you don't remember Soap Sud Head? Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I'm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Yeah. Fair. Let's see. And bro, it's not our fault that you chose your wardrobe from Shadow's prop department. Lord Humongous. Don't you talk to me about Lord Humongous? He's yeah, the, well, that's where he bought that that's where Shadow bottles props props from, but they have a totally different meaning in his studio. Yeah. You know what I love about my cats? Every time I eat cheese, they come over wanting some, but they won't eat cheese. <laughs> But they haven't figured out the smell means I don't like that. So they constantly bug me for cheese. My, my dog can hear cheese wrapper opening a mile away. I hate you guys. All my cheese is downstairs. Get your ass up and go get it. No. I'm sitting down right now. You've only got yourself to blame then, man. Seriously. Yeah. You just saw me. I just walked downstairs. You know, and back up, it's not that hard. One foot in front of the other. And at one end of the journey, cheese. <laughs> yeah, I better really shouldn't eat anything. So, Cody, I watched your video about the, the, the Dorkendorf campaign or whatever the hell it's called. Uh-huh. Now I understand why you've been so quiet lately. You've been working on that crazy shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I started watching, I'm like, this explains Cody's radio silence for the past week. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go, guys. Sorry. Bye, RPG Grandma. Take care, Take care. Grandma. Was always Party on. on board. Yeah, well, yeah, Looking I got forward to your interview next people week. People coming um, home. I gotta take care. <laughs> let's uh, let's let's get that that uh, West Coast thing going, okay? Oh yeah, yeah. You know, um, I know he's like interviewing people and stuff. So you know, I'm I'm in the Discord for that. Who's interviewing I just, people? So I I have to know dates so I can know if I can do it or not because. It's like I explained to uh, some mutual friends of ours, um, my work schedule and how many hours of rest I get and stuff. They were, they were um, shocked. Uh, mm. The amount of uh, how busy I am. So, so uh, yeah, we can talk, we can talk later privately. About certain All things. right. Fair enough. But, okay. So I got to go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Put on my uh, superpower. And Very cryptic. Feel, feel Seriously, better. you two. Like that was just. You know what? I'm gonna turn my camera on now because of that cryptic bullshit. Okay. Fair. Come on. It's, no, it's, it's almost. Just, it's just. It's something. Uh, I have a project, Shadow. <laughs> it's almost like they're talking about cryptics or something. No, no. It's, I'm actually, you know, might get paid. Awesome. Yeah. Bonus. It's kind of like they're. It's kind of like they're Money. hitting you. <laughs> but I have to be like cool. I can't just like say what I'm doing, you know. Same here. Yeah. I know the feeling. <laughs> NDAs and all buy, that. I don't buy yeah. any of your bullshit. The two of you. Uh, you're clearly talking about us, and we all. No, we're not. No. no. Well. If I if, 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 big if I talk about you, I'll basement. tell you straight up. Fucking <laughs> nerds, nerd. <laughs> She's breathing big feet in the basement. <laughs> I, I do respect Love the it. use of the plural. Well, because you know she's she's using equal parts DM James and equal parts Hungar DNA to make them a little more you know docile. <laughs> uh, <laughs> come on. Um, oh. I gotta go, guys. oh, oh, it's just her own version of the movie Species. Come on, yeah. bye, Grandma. Hey. There is no way you could ever improve on species unless you gave it the same level of nudity as Life Force. And real quick, if you guys are not subscribed to RPG Grandma, what are you doing with your life? Go take a break from this show. Go and sign up to RPG Grandma. We got to make her famous. Agreed. Do it. Mm -hmm. While we're at it, go subscribe to GM Cody. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Do it. Yeah. Furthermore, Carthage must be destroyed. <laughs> and, and and nerds hey, nerd agreed so, yeah. already so, done so, yeah, nerds nerd get get her some subs too so that, yeah. mean, that we should put out something like more than like once every three months because she currently has a great it'll be all right I, I do what I do and I do on my main channel you you two squirrel let's get let's get let's let's get his 
his uh, numbers up there where they belong. In the nerds, nerds, nerd, you have the damn link. Join us in the chat. Please. It would be so nice to have you here, Nerds. Nerd. I have cheese. Oh. Just to get him. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, look, without your fangs, vampire, you look like shit, dude. I got sharp cheddar, Colby, and uh, some Grapes. normal... No, no grapes. Um, meat sticks. Meat, little like. Oh, it's even better. Kind of like a uh, like a slim mini slim gyms. Yeah, but they're, well, they're not many. They're cut up into pieces. It's 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 from a local butcher. Okay, okay. that sounds pretty tasty. Uh, yeah. They have frozen right, taquitos for dinner. Right, right down the street. By the way, did I mention that squirrel hermit won my two thousand uh, subscriber giveaway? Yeah, that was awesome. Oh, yeah. I, I was out of yeah. out of the blue. That was cool. Yeah, you know we we're talking. Yeah, do the deal. You'll everything will be. Yeah, okay. like when I, when I get the charge for the uh, shipping, I'll let you know. And you can PayPal me. A zippity dippity. You'll be right back. Don't worry. I, I trust you, brother. Don't worry. I I almost regret not not waiting for that that free sh shirt now. I know yeah. I know whoever got that shirt is going to enjoy Under. it more than I. No, no, he got the first one. The second one. Oh, the one, uh, yeah, the one was, that. Uh, I think it was Michael Miko or something. I got to yeah, check out. I, 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 I literally waited for someone else to to go in. But, mm. Well, we got the 300 yeah. giveaway subscriber giveaway this week, so I'll throw your name in the pool. I'm going to give away another T-shirt. So. Nah, someone else will enjoy it more than me. I'm just going to put your name on the, the wheel and spin the wheel, and whoever's name comes up as the winner gets the goddamn shirt. Okay. It's that easy. I hope Cody gets it because I really want to dress Cody in the heroic gear. <laughs> yeah, well, if Cody gets it, he's not allowed to select the shirt. <laughs> no one you gets to select the shirt. They're getting the heroic shirt. Well, okay, send him one in hot pink. And Cody... Let's send you one in a bag full of snakes. Cody, we're wearing I'm okay with that. What the shirt? Oh, and I was joining us. Oh, no, here comes oh, trouble. Fuck. Oh, my God. And the now Texan all Chihuahua. the oxygen in the room will be eaten. Our lovely Texan Chihuahua. What is your new mic, bro? What's up, Omen? Love you, buddy. Hey, Omen. Oh, you, you got a... Hey. Uh, no, it's, it's it's all good. We'll see. I'm in the hotel. I, I can't so even make that out in the dark. It's Where called uh, Zeal Sound. Zeal Sound. It's and, called and Glowing Blue Light. I'm, I'm in like Coleman, Texas. But that's not that. Okay. That's this. What's up, Omen? Al? What's going on in your world, buddy? Oh, I'm just trying to, after after walking up and down hills all day, I'm just going, all right, I got to get rid of these cramps in my feet. So, uh, that, that, I had an 18-ounce ribeye, so I, I feel pretty good oh. tonight. Oh, yeah, there you go. You're yeah, traveling. I, like in, man. I had frozen taquitos. I'm not a ribeye fan, to be honest. It's too much fat on it. I don't like a fatty steak. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bear, before I forget, later. I used to be that way, too. I can you send me a link uh, to where I can get grab a couple of your shirts? Sure. I'll, I'll wear them on the now. show. Oh, thank yeah. you. But you know what? Wear them because you like shirts, man. They're well, yeah, I do. I do. Uh, but I, I'm trying to, you know, uh, it's almost T-shirt weather here, so I'm going to be breaking them all out and, you know. Okay, it's kind of like shirt the, shows up in some weird gay porn, you will be my hero forever. <laughs> oh, it'll happen. Well, I, I can the make squirrel, it happen. The squirrel will provide. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be wearing it. Mark my words. I won't be wearing it. I won't be in the porn. But you watch out. And just just for you, it, it'll be extra extra uh, small. Well, you could just like order a couple uh, dozen of your shirts there and send them to. Gay porn studios. I could, or alternately, I could not. <laughs> just saying. I mean, you know, all things being equal. Okay. So I just sent the. I wouldn't order twelve, and I would the link that. to everybody in the world so they any gay porn stars watching this, please wear my shirt. Especially wow. if it's transgender. You know that there are. I think that's even are. better. From what yeah. I understand, there's huge money in gay porn. Huge, lots of money. Well, Shadow would know. <laughs> It's not as much as you think. <laughs> He's got a fifteen grand a year increase on his quote unquote retirement. I mean, come on. 
There's some money. There's, there's, there's well. Some so, uh, so Cody, what uh, what what gaming's going on, Cody? Uh, Cody, gaming, gaming, Cody. <laughs> there are huge benefits besides the economic ones. <laughs> yeah, no, for real though. Aha, uh-huh. Cody, how you doing? What's up? How you been? Come on. Oh wait, he's not here. Omen, how you doing? What's going on? Oh, we're never going to speak again. Oh, you know what? I was I was just arguing about you know elves, and I said, show me a. Uh, Show me an elf that's like four or five hundred years, and I'll show you an elf that hasn't done crap in two hundred to three hundred years. <laughs> well, they've done something. Who were you they... arguing this with? Elf bait. <laughs> no, no, I was. No, we were on the axe forums for stuff, and they were all talking about elves and how you know we're going through this whole big thing. And they, I said, if you look at it, most elves sit around and do nothing for most of their lives. It's like your oh. grandfather talking about all of his glory days, but hasn't done shit in your lifetime. Oh, baloney. Can I, can I share some John Landis wisdom with you? John Landis once asked his son, Max Landis, this question. He says, how do you kill a vampire? It's home now. How do you kill a vampire? Numerous ways. Usually, if you can get them the sun or if you can stake them, depending on mm-hmm. what where you go. Actually, no, you can kill them any way you want because it's your fucking story. Vampires don't exist. Same thing for elves. Think about it. <laughs> Oh my god, we lost Shadow. What the fuck? <laughs> Someone check the news. Did California just get nuked or fall into the ocean? Uh, <laughs> now, now. Hey, 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 hey. Elves, this is elves the are real. They're just not the D and D elves we talk about. <laughs> have you have you ever seen? They're right up there with very, Bigfoot. Have you ever seen the very talented actress Crystal Boyd? Oh my. God. Oh Should boy. Cody, oh, leave? Is Cody here? I'm here. No. <laughs> hey, Cody, quick, talk about gaming, because otherwise Justin's going to just turn this into perverse fantasy theater. Yeah, what what have you been up to, Code? Um, Good Meister. Work, and I've been working on this um, Imaginations campaign, and um, that's basically it. <laughs> What's so. this loss? All right, what I'm, I'm, I'm going to be an idiot, or maybe not an idiot. Uh <clears throat> What do you what do you do for work? What what is it? General. Oh, I'm a, I'm a finished carpenter. Ah, you're, you are you're you're a nail bender, a termite. Awesome. Yeah. yeah but he's from Finland. That's why he's a Finnish carpenter. No. No, no, I am just curious. I, that's all. Little, little known fact, the Tennessee accent and the I, Finnish I think accent. that's cooler than everything cool. else and we've been not, talking about. <laughs> exactly. And I but m- myself when I ask people what they do for work, uh, Societally, you know, whatever. I'm not valuing, judging your value as a human being, dude. That's awesome. You, you you're, you're a woodworker, finished carpenter. Oh, oh, I, I know. I, I judge you. I, I'm a member of the do. trades. I'm a member of the trades myself. But that being said, that's cool. That's neat. Mm. It's, a, it's a lot better it, work. Than anyone that do. can work with their hands, I always give respect to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially if she can work with her hands. Uh-huh. Yeah, now I got squirrel from with the police as well as Justin. Jesus. If, if Shadow was here, there would be so many opportunities with that statement. But he isn't, so I'm sad. <laughs> no, that's cool, Craig. It's kind of, it's kind of so, funny. He I've, left a like, statement, too. So it's just like this is now surreal. I've also heard about this imagination. So what the hell is this? Is it is it a rule system setting? What What is it? I, I've so, never heard of it. Imaginations is a really old concept in wargaming. It goes back to uh, the beginning of wargaming, actually, as a hobby in the 60s and 70s, if you've heard of Charles Grant or Don- Donald Featherstone. or Yes, yes. Bad. So all those guys, uh, they played historical games, but a lot of the stuff they did, too, was imaginations. And what they did was they made up fictional places to do their little um, campaigns and battles in. And they would um, they would pick they would make up a fictional country or place based loosely in a time period in history. That way they could kind of create their own thing. Yeah. And um, and they would fight battles in these imaginary places. And they it was kind of a forgotten oh, so concept. It's what the U.S. Army does. <laughs> um, yeah. 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 Pretty much. Great. When Seven when I was. played when I played Napoleonics, that's what we did. It was Stratigos. not France, awesome. not Germany. You know, so so uh, when yeah, I was when I was in Cambodia, they were they were doing certain war games, and they did Utah Stand versus Colorado Stand versus right. a few others, and they did that specifically to 
prevent the countries feeling like they're being picked on one way or the other. And they, and they, but the, so that's what they would do. But it was, but it was really interesting going through. It's like, and Colorado Stan has decided that, that this is wrong. <laughs> it was, I mean, and someone yeah. would really get into role playing the whole aspect. That's the mm-hmm. point that the guy I was talking to, he was just hearing, we were outside the door and he heard it and he perked up and was just kind of freaking out as this guy's like yelling to these Cambodians about Utah Stan will not stand for that. <laughs> <laughs> Fun stuff. No, that, that's cool. Yeah, that I, I cool. wondered what that imagination was. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Well, Shadow, what happened? Oh, uh, just power went out. Yeah. California. Yeah. Yeah. Quick porn scene. It, it was, <laughs> I, I was surprised. It came back I don't even have to do it anymore. It did, there were too wow. many dildos on all at once. He had to turn a couple of them off. And, you know, <laughs> Fluffing. A little fluffer. <laughs> that shows you know nothing. That shows you know nothing about the porn industry. Little you fluffage. Do not have anything like that plugged in. Little fluffage. Little whoa, fluffage. whoa. You, you never heard of the uh, oh what was that thing the bench the bench uh, I'm the sorry machine? Cody yeah it's a machine you plug I'm it so in sorry. And knob. No, he's not. I'm so so sorry Cody no he's not I thought I would get my revenge but man this is just this is brutal I'm so sorry oh baby <laughs> see what I mean look at them they're like little children with toys w- were were of were and here are toys. Toys are fun. More role playing be, there. You know, Let us play. <laughs> so, All right. So, well, so, it was uh, uh, extra. Good talking to you guys. Cord, not the battery <laughs> operated. Uh, the Simeon. That's what it's called. The Simeon. Sh- Shadow's got 30 Simeons <laughs> running right now. <laughs> good Lord. <laughs> so, to answer your question, is it Logan, the monkey that you're candle. referring to? <laughs> no, no, no. Fire you look. Torch you, lights. Yeah, that is neat. I like that. That's a good look for you. For real. That that is neat. That's cool. So basically low light is the way for me to go because I'm that fucking ugly. Got it. No, you're 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 Listen, I'll, I'll have you know I'm very popular in the German fat gay community, okay? So I, yeah, I've heard that earlier, that. remember? Okay, all right. Now, uh, uh Captain Schnitzel. I I've, I've now is that one of those light bulbs that looks like it's got a fire inside of it, or is it yeah. just flicker? Yes. Okay, so I was looking I, I was at some actually, of those actually Amazon. Really nice. uh, actually really cool. talking to saying to Zadarok, I'm like, oh yeah, I, 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 I keep with thinking that light, every time, and I the, like it, the, and she does too. Oh, well, thank it's, you. It's cool. I, I keep it's thinking neat. that every time I see bear with that Amazon. light, what was that? Is, is that with with that bear with the light? Is we kind of expect them to have the, um, you know, I expect to see a Jim Henson dog come up there and him to go into story time. <laughs> That's some fable. Work your cares away. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, you, you, you remember that? You remember day. the old storyteller series? Yes. I, I know. Was, uh, I was a 20-year-old when that thing came out, so I didn't give a fuck because I was too busy trying to get laid. So it <laughs> meant it didn't matter to me at that moment I, in my I, life. I, at, at 20 <laughs> years old, I was busy getting laid and probably smoking crack and watching that show. Smoking crack? Fuck, squirrel. <laughs> I didn't get my smile from being a fighter. Uh, you learn something new every day. We're I'm over that. Get, well, get well, way well day. over that. It would at least be somewhat fair. I was 14. I was, yeah. Oh, boy. Anyways. So are we having an intervention or is this like an Oprah episode? What's going on, guys? No, no. Or, he's well over. So, Bear, there. listen. When 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 are we going to be able to view the next uh, what what um, Palladium? When is this coming up? The uh, we don't know right now mm-hmm. because uh, because of uh, scheduling conflicts because we had had booked the day but Hunger was in the hospital so yeah. we're now there. Monday night we're going to have my Monday night Palladium game coming up this Monday, and Friday night tomorrow night we're going to have the uh, heroic. Uh, the first Friday night heroic. Nice, Ooh. nice. I'm looking forward to seeing that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to see this play test, this live play test. No, you're banned. You're not allowed to see it. He's blocking you, and I'll double block you. There we I'm go. Gonna, and and, and Chad will cock block you, so it's going to work out perfectly. 
Uh, there might be a cock involved, but it might be blocked. More like cock docking you. Uh, <laughs> wow, squirrel. Jesus, wow. man. I never thought I would meet anyone more into gay porn than Justin, but look at fucking squirrel. Go. <laughs> He's just a squirrel trying to get a nut. Uh, oh. <laughs> and, the, and the squirrel always oh. gets his nut, baby. <laughs> I'm having fun tonight. All right, I was over the road working a lot of driving hours. Shit, oof! I'm glad goofy. to hear, man. That's 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 what's oh. that's what's really important these days. Hey, did you invite DM James? By the way, oh, I, I went and said he's doing, hi his to own, him. he's doing his own thing right now, or he was <laughs> when I started. When I jumped in, was he streaming as well? Yeah. <laughs> I, I went in right before his show and said hi. He's like, "What are you doing here? Don't, don't you have your own thing?" And I'm like. Yeah, but you know, I'm still gonna, you know, help a brother out and hit the old thumbs up button at the very least, you know. Yep, yep. You no, know, he's done streaming. How oh, is he? Well, yeah. let's get some crazy in here. Yeah, get this old bearded ass <laughs> wait, wait, in wait, here. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, guys, have any of that right now. Listen, Someone wake guys. up hungry. Let's get some chaos oh, in here. Tr truly, guys, folks. Do truly. you think we don't already have enough? No. When I know. when I started looking at this YouTube stuff, or oh, here, how would whatever, you maybe three years ago, he was one of the first channels for whatever come up, and I watched, and he actually inspired. I says this nut job can do it, so can I. <laughs> like for real, so I started putting out my YouTube stuff because he was just you know some kook having fun, talking and blabbing. Yep. Why not? So I did. So I, I will give him props on that. And, oh, absolutely. And why not? We're having fun yeah, here. Yeah, we, no, no, for sure. uh, you know, we're enthusiasts. Let's do this. Let's be enthusiastic. Mm. No, it's the same thing for me. I'm just doing what I do. And if people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. I don't give a fuck. But he's one of the, one of the, what, top three people, four people that when I first started, again, watching this YouTube stuff about RPG gaming, you know, blah blah blah. I'm like, well, look at this guy. I kind of like what he's saying. He he's got a hundred, two hundred subscribers, whatever. He's not looking for money. Ah, fuck it. I'll do it too. And I'm glad I did. Everything happens for a reason, Squirrel, and this is one small, tiny part of it. I just think we all need therapy. I think that's where we're at as a collective group. We just need to be sitting in a room with someone who's like the adult because we all have our particular forms of damage and we bring them to our YouTube channels, but we're really bad when we get on each other's shows. We really just let our fucking demons out. All I'm know. saying is do not we get are help from therapy. Help. It's not help. See, Justin's waving his bone around. Shadow's, you know, shadow. We, we are. I, 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 I hate it when miniature companies make model kits of, of miniatures where only one foot is on the freaking ground. See? Therapy to, needed. A freaking werewolf to a base and, and the connection point is smaller than a freaking... Toothpick head? Well, well, well here, here's the problem. You're using it's a, a little too small of a like werewolf. A match, not even a matchstick. Oh, like so, the, so remember I, I got the, the armor slave from... From, it's uh, all about the base. The base. What's the that base. game called again? Oh. I don't know. So, so Shadow, the problem is, is that your werewolves are too small. They need to be large enough that you have a good solid base <laughs> with one foot. <laughs> that was <have> a bone, Eddie. <laughs> yeah. Actually, and, and, and it's even treated with uh, super glue so it doesn't fall apart. So I just have like a fidget bone. Well, you know what, though, is I don't know if you ever looked at the stuff from um, Privateer Press with their Feral Warp Wolf. That thing yeah. had one leg, but, I mean, it was pretty solid. Oh, no, no. So, so I was going to say, the uh, the armor slave from that game you like, Oma Now, uh, I showed it off. I finished assembling it uh, on one of these streams, and I put it down, mm -hmm. and the fucking ankle snapped. I, and they're both, I, bo yeah, both ankles are as thin as toothpick heads. The uh, dulcet tones you're hearing are uh, Cody playing his guitar. Uh, uh, yeah, that, I was going to say, guitar. Cody. It's his uh, therapy I, I guitar. I like the tunes. I like the tunes. And I told uh, Zadarok earlier, your, your little uh, 
what the fuck they call it, emoji or avatar or whatever the hell it is. Okay. I used to use that a lot way back in the day. Love it. Mad oh, yeah. Max. Mad Max, baby. Love it. Just walk away and spare your lives, but leave me the fat tank of gas. Yeah. I love it. That That's a classic. Lord Humongous, baby. Yes. Jam, baby. Jam. Love it. Do Foggy Mountain Breakdown. <laughs> what are you, Steve Martin? Do Foggy Mountain Breakdown? I'm trying to. I, 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 well, <laughs> I haven't heard so that awesome. fucking line that in so years. Awesome. Did you caught that, dude? Jesus oh, that is so Christ, awesome. man. I'm a rambling guy. Rambling, rambling. R-A-M-B-L-N. Dude, the Christmas I got that record, uh, that was the, one of the best Christmases ever. My parents, you know, they were trying to listen without listening, and they're like, oh, shit, we got this for them? I'm like, yep. Sequious and have your knees did removed. I, did I tune up my banjo? And and the South shall rise? What? Yeah, uh, I'm just saying. Uh, now, if you want, I'm not going to, you know. Now, if, no. if, if you're ever at one of those, like, coffee houses where they have a guy playing guitar and singing songs or whatever. You punch him you in want, the mouth. And... Yeah, no, and you want him to, and they do, like, the requests. And you want that guy to say, fuck no, as fast as possible. Just got ask him to play American Pie every single time. I've got them say, that's that's fuck no. my favorite well, song of all time. Great song, but it's in... so long and so convoluted. Hey, Squirrel, do you but... actually have a banjo with you right now? Uh, it's hanging on the wall, yes. <laughs> Bring it down and join Cody in the jam, and we'll all just be really, really uh, Yeah, I'm not doing that right now. Then don't fucking... Listen, it's Chekhov's banjo. You don't show the banjo in the first act unless you're going to fucking use it. You understand, sir? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is a shadow show. It's not a banjo. It's a dragon dildo. It's, 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 it's to, set the, to set the whole mood. Finally, we found the we that drowned out Omen Owl. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, part. surprisingly, Omen Owl hasn't lost connection once yet. That's part. Take that, care. Well, Take care, Chris. That's part Party of the on. reason of the banjo. They really hit hard on the... Uh... You know what? I have to love this. <laughs> oh, I... Sorry, I just see that people He's are going to break out his accordion. You can get agricultural exemption. I'm like, you need 11 You need eleven acres to get an ag exemption if you want to put a house on it. <laughs> oh, anyway. Yes, but can you build an 11-acre house? Well, what you want, well, one acre doesn't count towards the ag exemption, but most of the ag exemptions require 10 or more acres. So they count that first acre towards your house. So if you buy 10 acres, you only have nine acres that, are, that would be eligible, and that's too small in many cases. So it's kind what of the fuck are you talking over. about? What are we talking report. about? What's going on? Talk, we're, talking about oh, we're talking about real estate real fast. <laughs> Why? Yeah. How did we get there? Welcome to the club, Bob. You never know where you, you want chaos, man. Yeah. Y'all yeah, motherfuckers were attracted. No one else decided to bring farm right. reports. Y'all motherfuckers were attracted to this shit. Welcome to the club. Hey, 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 Bob. hey. That's where I were. You know, that's what I've been doing all week. Mm. Exactly. I said, how you up been and down doing the all day. Yay. Yeah. No, it's, mm. Sorry, I just so, saw that there. I sorry, I was just scrolling through, and I just saw that there's property available. On it. Oh, this is a scam. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not What's really a scam, scam, but but it's it's false. It's a falsehood, is what it people. Mm. Okay, here, here's something random. Uh, sort um, of random. letting people think uh, they're going to keep an egg exemption when they're not going to have enough acreage. Yeah. Right. Ah. Uh, yeah. I fucking hate when that happens. What was our? I know. You know what I mean. I mean, I got like a, you know a quarter million acres. I uh, <laughs> a rump. No, 
Uh, I'm I'm spitballing here. Uh, video games. I know we're tabletop RPG games. Yeah, no, no, you can talk video games. Anybody? What was the first video yeah. game that was like wow? Mm, Quest. You know, for you, for us, from like, 1981 like, or 82, yeah, computer we game. D&D. It was yeah, a computer or game, console, and you could throw stuff at it, and every monster had a different letter. That was the very first game that I remember. Like, like the game that really hooked you, so you're like playing for hours on end, like every day. Yeah, what was that one for you? Sim Cities 3000. Okay. <laughs> I, I I had a city now, don't, that don't lasted eight thousand years. Actually, okay. to me, the one that the first one that grabbed me to the point where I threw money in it was uh, Tempest. Was what? Tempest. Tempest. Oh yeah, okay. I remember Tempest. I remember was Galaga was another one. Um, Cody. Time, well, are we talking pop? arcade or, or, or no? I'm or, sorry. Was it time? computer? Either matter. one. The first okay. one that really made you go like. I'm playing. Wow! This. All right. For Shadow, first... that would be Pong. <laughs> uh... <laughs> no, 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 no. It would it be was... programming Pong. <laughs> no, it was just like uh, what's the, the 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 little magnet wheels on the copper threads. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Etch so, I think you're talking Pong. If you're actually looking at uh, no, the little sketch. bumpers. Just no, 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 but anyways, no, no, like no, no, for wires, real, like magnets, you know, computer like or console, whatever. Well, wait, what, what no, was no. The, the game that was like, wow, this is great? Uh, Cody, Super, Super Mario Brothers, that was the game uh, that got me, yeah, the original one. I, li- I, I like, I like Super Mario Bros. I like to duck hunt too, but no, Jack. I, hey, I still same. remember nope. Wizardry, like graphics. the original, and same with Might and Magic. You know, it's yeah, Might and Magic was mine. And then when I went to, when I upgraded to Barney, I was like, wow. <laughs> so if you could have that console or that game or whatever that would support that game, would you and would you play it again? I do. I have, and I just played it about a year ago. Nice. What do you mean a year ago? I, I keep trying yeah, I, I, to get back in the system. Get my magic one oh. through seven on uh, Steam? Steam or something like that. Steam. What is this? A Steam? This Steam drives an engine for a vehicle. <laughs> no. But when it Steam comes to well. arcade games, I I'm going to say uh, Defender. There you go. Oh. So, like me, Midway was your drug. Yes. No, Williams. For Sorry, him. Williams. Not Midway, me. Williams. Defender was uh, fun. Robotron 2084. 20, 2840. Ooh, that game was. was psycho, man. I fucking played the shit out of that game. That game yeah. was fucking... BRB, everybody. <laughs> All, right. Dude. All right, Justin. My my penultimate game, uh, I, it's a PS1 game. It is... Vagrant Story. Oh, I had that one. I love it. I still have a no. I have, I have three PlayStation Twos. I don't have my PS One still. So you can put that disc into the PS Two. I love that game. So I figured I'd ask. I I just lately I haven't. The last game I played was. Uh, Knights of the <laughs> Old Republic 1 and 2. Those Still, are fun. A buddy of mine gave me his Xbox original just so I could play it. And he gave me a, a big old stack of games that I'll I'll never play, but it was pretty cool of him to do. I'm going to tell you fellas, you folks, um, there is a game called uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's for the PS4, 5. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I believe it was on the PS4. And you can do it, obviously, with the back-compatible BS. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Holy. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's a really good game. It's a little wow. slow to get going. Yes, but wow. Cody, thank you. 
because they're doing a, a number two will be coming out in uh, this next year or two. Yeah. Yeah, it's wow. a good game. I'm glad. Wow. Thank you. Wow. That game is wow. Is it not, Cody? Yeah, it's really good. Um, again, it's it's a little slow to get into, but once you get into it, it once once it really kicks off, it's really really good. It's really cool. It's a historical RPG. I think it's based in the 15th or 14th century. Yes, and it's very historically accurate. Yes, um, first person. Yeah. You're, you're, yeah, first you're, person. You're, there's no third person. You're looking. Yeah, first person. Shadow. I love first persons. I'm sharing a video with you. You really want to put this up. Oh, what happened to Omen? Okay. Let me know Thank you, you Cody. Yes, that game is awesome. All right. And it, Send it, it, Bear. it, it All right. started out it with to go. a hell of a lot of hiccups. Oh, I thought it would come down on the bottom. Hey, hey. hang on. I got to reload it. Put the sound on. You guys hear it? Can you hear it? Hey, boy. Yeah. Yeah. This is a patient cat. How many cats you got? My cats would be open. How, how many cats do you have? Look at this, man. Look at this. That's insane. I'm blown away by how patient this cat is. Well, it looks like it's a kitten, so it probably has no idea what's going on. Oh, my God. You do not touch the pussy enough. Anyways. Okay. Well, on that note, gentlemen, it is my bedtime, so I'm going to say good evening. Take care, Bear. Yes, please. I'll see you in a minute. All right. <clears throat> Speaking of cats, I got to go feed those. <clears throat> Love you, Beasts that live in my head. Some bitch, some bitch gave that down all PM. <laughs> <laughs> Where would Omen go? I, I, he keeps dropping out. Fucking dropouts. They never go anywhere in life. <laughs> all right, everybody. You take care. Love you all like play cousins. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow, man. Toodles. What's up with your your your, your stuff, Omen? Oh, man. Hello? Is there anybody out there? I don't know. Am I out there? Uh, from time to time. All right. Am I in? I can't tell. Like I said, yeah, I'm in a hotel. In. And it's in the middle of nowhere. It's like, I think the whole, oh. I think the whole city I'm in is like 3,000 people. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait a minute. I live in a town of 3,000 people, and I got better reception than you. Oh, am I but no, I, I agree. No, I, I, get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. There's... That we thing, lose uh, Blytheville. Buttholeville, I call it. Arkansas. Jesus Christ, the reception there is garbage. Makes you wonder why people stay. Well, I'm, I could be entirely wrong, but years ago when I first went there for work, you know, traveled or whatever, and folks were like, oh, don't go to this, you know, I, I don't know, it was north, south, east, west, end of town, so to speak. Just don't go to that direction. Okay, you know, whatever. And come back home, you know, while we were there, looked into it, and um, I think at the time, it's about eight years ago, six years ago, the murder rate was ridiculous. It was like 28% or something. What? And, yeah, it was, it was insane. However, I will give 
you can't give respect for killing. I will give, I will acknowledge, I don't know, it was all male on male murder. There was no women or children being like, you know, it wasn't like drive-bys, like spray, you know, it was you, you, whoever thought that deserved to be shot, shot whoever they thought deserved to be shot. Excuse me. <laughs> if that was the case, nerds, I, I think there would be no people living there after about a month because they'd all be dead. Yeah, I don't. I, nerds, nerds, look it up. This was. Da, ba, ba. Well, the number is sequentially lower every time. Five years ago? I can... Yeah, look, look about... Look, look, you know, I could be wrong. It, and again, I didn't look it up. I'm not... You know, but from what I heard and understood, like, they were shooting each other a bunch. Mm. And the hotel that we went to initially check in, honestly... Uh, there were two ambulances, about eight police cars and other EMT people, and we saw two on the stretcher. Two, you know what I mean? Like it wasn't. It wasn't. You you ever play the fast food fun time game? No, I have not. Okay, so the, the the fast food fun time game is you uh, you select a, a type of violent attack like shooting, stabbing, uh, beaten with a chair, that kind of thing, right? Then yep. you, you select a fast food train, and then the other people in the group do the same thing, and then you do a quick Google search for the most recent and closest to you, or maybe you select an area and then a fast food train, and then the most violent. And most recent to your time period when, wins that round. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You will get every single fucking fast food train. You'll get every single restaurant that has more than one location having some sort of violent, like absurd, especially in the US, some sort of absurd violent attack. And it'll usually be within like, Three blocks of you. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Well, that sounds not so fun. No. Uh, but on that note, I'm going to head out and go to bed. It's good talking to you guys. You too, Everybody have a good night. Back in time. Yeah. I Thanks enjoyed the uh, the musical. But I'll see you till next week. Have a great weekend, brother. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Party on, man. And I got it. Sorry, Omen. I, I not paying attention to the, the thing. No, it, doing what the thing says. I'm, I'm actually putting minis together. No, what I, minis I, are you my, putting my, together? No, my phone is doing uh, much better than, than the uh, and lasers. I just put this really, I just put this really weird looking thing together. I'm gonna expand so you can see better, at least so I can tell if what you're seeing. But it's this weird looking multi armed. Oh, with the candelabra? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go all king and yellow with this one. Try yeah, to make it look like should. a minion of Haster. Absolutely. Get the brazier and all that cool crap. It, it, it kind of looks like something. It, it kind of looks like something out of. Um, Don't I? Zadarok. I use king and yellow. Yeah, uh, I was thinking more like something from the body shape out of uh, Dark Crystal. Yeah, it kind of has that, except you, there's no face. But yeah, it's definitely got a little bit of that going on. Oh, I thought you just hadn't glued it on yet. <laughs> nope, nope. It's, it's it like a weird like hood. Open. Yeah, it looks like yeah. the tentacles no. coming out of the, the no, face. Nice. Uh, no, okay. no, it, 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 it that's just like I don't know if that's supposed to be its face, but it's really weird. Oh, okay. Yeah, they look like horns. Then the rope thing. I thought there might be a part that glues in there because of... I don't know, but it's got like. 
six arms and it's just weird as shit with candles on its back. It's yeah. weird. But, you know, it's from the guys in Poland and they put out some great stuff. I, I did get a couple of these. They're, they're displacer beasts, but they're actually lions. Oh, okay. Those are kind of interesting. And a bunch of other stuff. I'm going to show it all off uh, uh, starting next week as I get stuff done. I'm not going to wait until I'm totally painted. I'm just going to mostly, you know, zenithal them. Uh, uh, some things, if they catch my eye, like these golems, I will jump on right away. These are just weird. Yeah. And then there was this this goofy, uh, it's a like some sort of, sort of steampunk looking cannon but it's actually got a a goblin rider oh goblin cannon yeah it's kind of cool yeah. um i almost didn't put the rider on it but i'm like you know what he's 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 kind of goofy as well he's got a, like a, a wrench in his hand like tally ho kind of thing i'm like you know what okay, okay. did you just what? magnetize it so you can take him on and off uh mm. yeah it, it takes something really special before I, I mess with that, I've done it, and it's with the magnets that I use. They're so freaking tiny that uh, if I'm not super careful, I'll you know get them turned around, and oh. it won't work. There's a yeah, trick for that. Yeah, I mean you do. It I would love to know it. that trick. Yeah, glue a magnet to a stick, and you. you put it on the thing so it knows what way to go. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. What I usually do is, uh, because they're they're like like two or three mil. Like, I, they say two millimeter, yeah. but they're barely. And I usually just leave oh, yeah. them on the, this big long shaft of, of magnets, you know, just Oh, yeah, yeah you can do that too. Up, and then glue it, and then try to pull it off. But there have been a couple of times where the super glue glued a couple of the magnets together. And that didn't work because you just need one magnet glue, and you know, so they do the you same. Just, you just you just doubled the strength. That's all, you know. <laughs> no, but the length is actually too much, so it looks like you know whatever weapon it is is like, you know, like hovering in his hand or something. It's just, it, yeah. You, know, you gotta drill the hole deeper. Well, so you, it's too you just, late after the magnets are there. It's you know, super glue isn't instantaneous. Usually, you're. You know, it is. Yeah. You use accelerator. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. Why would I use accelerator and super glue? It's fast enough. Because I'm impatient. Well, so, some super glues aren't that fast, especially in, I, in small dots. I hate yeah. that that lie of super glue, quick dry, and you're waiting there for like two minutes. Right. Yeah, two not minutes. only that, or it seems that, and feels like two minutes. You know what I mean? It is on it's stand. Like, I was just gonna say that, Cal. Uh, yeah, yeah. Back, no, it is because the, the 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 chemical that's in the accelerator is naturally in your skin. It's also in your breath. So if you breathe on super glue, I get <sighs> that will speed up the. Yeah, the I've done more. that, and for some quote unquote super glues. Uh -uh. Well, for me, if I'm going to do a lot of stuff, is if I'm going to do the assembly, I'm going to go sit there and kind of do a bunch of the assembly. Before I even look at paint, so it's, it's like, oh, okay, there's this miniature. Now there's this miniature. I'm do a couple of them. Now, what's what strength magnets are you using? I don't know what the strength is. I just know the, the dimensions. Oh, because I got real picky. I started using N52s because those were really those were the, some of the strongest you can get. And uh, you know, for the small ones, like, oh, okay, there we go. Because I always hated it whenever you put something together with an arm and the arm starts slowly moving down over time. You know. Yeah. Like, no, no, I want you to stay up so it looks like you're actually shooting at something besides your foot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Those little miniature magnet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Two mini yeah, those two mils are really yeah. tiny, but I, I think I use some of the bigger ones and two. So th there's there's I don't, this like, I don't like using baking soda uh unless it's like uh, on the base because it just gets it's so hard to you know sprinkle it out without it, you know, kind of getting clumpy and and looking wrong. If you're it's good it for like, it's good for large gap filling, and if you're you're doing structural 
Like yeah, like it, like it, gluing something to a base, then it looks yeah. fine because it just looks like dirt. You know. Yeah, I, I've used it. I've used it to like repair large gaps in in panels from things that are made and stuff. If, if you're going to cover it over afterward, you know, don't don't try to get it level. I never Use had any the... luck with with green stuff. I was just better off using regular epoxy. <laughs> yeah, I, I I prefer Bondo Bondo Red yeah. the stuff in the tube. Uh, don't get the tub. You won't use it fast enough to. Uh, yeah, green yeah, stuff. You waste your money. You waste your money if you get in the tub. Get the yeah, tube. yeah. Get the tube. The tube's got the nice little and keep keep yep. the threads clean. You, you, I mean, come on. We're miniatures, not vehicles. Oh, uh, I, I don't think you can say say some of the projects I've worked on have been miniature. I've made life size busts. Well, I'm still. You, I'm not talking to you personally, but I mean, yeah. in general. Yeah. Well, what was her name? Miniatures. What was her name? You said you made life size busts. Yeah. Uh. uh I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. <laughs> He's not gonna call out his girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> so, especially since it's not finished yet. <laughs> well, they might film uh, her or his name. Like <laughs> no, no. I, I've and, I've and, never and, starred in a shadow production, and God and, help me, I never will. <laughs> oh, yet. I mean, you know. <laughs> he he only made guest appearances. He never was a star. <laughs> Once again, fluffer. You know you want to be the pizza guy. <laughs> I Come only on, do. You are the pizza guy? I only do B G G scenes. That's the rumor. I, I, yeah. Where, where Shadow only does B B scenes or B B B B B B B scenes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Blibbity blabbity alphabet scenes. Oh, oh, oh wait. So, so B is boy and G is girl, right? Yeah, yeah. So, which one do you play there, Skip? We, <laughs> 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 uh, it's like, look, look, it has to be Metal Hurling <laughs> Chronicles or nothing, you know? Exactly. <laughs> Oh, yep, so what yep, yep, yep. Now, me? Oh, not so much. How about you, Squirrel? Did you bring anything with you? Last trip? No. This trip? No, no, no. Everything's in the basement. I haven't, I haven't really touched anything. The, 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 the schedule has been chaotic. So, me. I've been Work, relaxing. I, I I don't know what it is, but the last two weeks, like I said earlier, I've been sleeping like, like I was dead. It's not just you. I mean, I was I was completely exhausted. I had all of last week off. It like, was the night. eclipse. Well, yeah, the eclipse on Monday is what gets me. It was I was Raven would say it's the chemtrails. Yeah, but but but, but chemtrails. You'd, you'd have, have to, to go outside there. for that. <laughs> Do you? Oh, I so I figured I, I, I figured it was the Amoxis one. I, I always I always laugh about the chemtrails mm -hmm. because the, the, like that's a conspiracy theory, isn't it? You mean from the nineteen fifties when the declassified stuff? I'm like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. The US government's admitted to it. Now you know, and to be fair, some of the stuff that they do is is perfectly valid. It's like, okay, we're gonna see, you know, where how far the dispersal goes or you well, track exactly. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. You know, yeah, not, I mean, not everything. Not everything has a sinister component, though. You can take correct. a lot of the, the valid, they take a lot of the valid research and using a cynical uh, means, but that's not a lot of times what they do. Well, no, you're, you're saying you're saying it's not a conspiracy theory that they're using the chemtrails to mind control the dogs. Ugh. I don't know I, because if they're trying to mind control dogs, I'd like to know. <laughs> I. I you know what? Give me some of that because the dogs I do just look at you like no. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It's just so they don't bite the the mailman as often. No, it, it's 
I don't think it's very effective. Ain't no animals in, in, in our town bites the mailman because the mailman comes equipped. He's got cat treats, dog treats, and hell, he carries around beef jerky for angry humans. Really? I, like, I got to move I to your neighborhood. To... I like beef jerky. I, I, well, exactly. I have to love, <laughs> I I have to love to it because my son's mother keeps getting new dogs. Like, I'll just walk onto a place, never met the dog. The dog will just fall down, roll over, and expose its belly. Like, oh, yeah. okay. Like, I, yeah, vicious vicious defense dogs. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, uh, Cal makes a good point here. This is uh, pretty much all epoxy putties. Uh, uh, at least refrigerate or freeze them when you're not using them for more than a week. Oh, really? Yeah. It prolongs their life. That's once they're, actually once why open. I had a. Uh, yeah, once they're open, you, you you freeze or refrigerate them once they're open. Yeah, it's, it's why it's good to have. It's it's why it's good to have a uh, mini bar fridge in your uh, your workspace. That and if you use a wet pallet, put it in the fridge as well. It'll keep uh, keep it longer. A little condensation. Hmm. I can see that with a wet palette. Yeah, a little condensation. Yeah. yeah. I, I only suggest ref refrigerating over freezing with uh, green stuff or milliput because you might want to like not have to wait for it to thaw out. Right. <coughs> if, you're, never thought of that. if you're using it more, more often than once a month or whatever. Yep. Yeah, I sometimes go months without using it. Yeah. So yours is probably junk if you didn't throw it in the freezer. Probably. And I've wasted a lot of money not doing that, even though I have I have a mini bar fridge right here. <laughs> yes, but it's full of uh, but it's full of you know light base. There's absolutely nothing in it right now. <laughs> there, there's, no there's absolutely nothing in it. What is that for? It needs to be defrosted because I have nothing in it. Oh, okay. I well, I have to. Yeah. My my apartment told me I had to move my freezer because they didn't like where it was on the stairs. They're like, if there's a fire and it could fall down, and I went, that's a pretty heavy freezer. I said, okay, I'll pull all the meat out of there and move it over into the other part of the room. And then <laughs> I said, all right, if you're okay with it, that's fine. Yeah, really. I'm, like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not getting rid of 150 pounds of beef. No. 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 Well, let me face it. I'm getting rid of it, but it's all going down my gullet. Yeah. It's all going into the toilet, goddammit. <laughs> It'll make a turd. <laughs> yeah. It's all going into my thigh pads. Thigh pads? Yeah. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I've been reading Dune. That's the whole part of, you know, if you actually... Yeah. <laughs> with the still suits. Uh... Yep. Little doonage. About that much over the nerdy line. They're over now. No, 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 no. If, 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 yeah, look, I better be over that nerdy line. If it's not nerdy, then that means I'm going, I'm, I'm catering to normals. No, no. When, when you talk yeah, about poop I, sex, I, poop I, sex, I will agree with him and Al. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah. he's on course. Yeah. <laughs> For him and Al, come on. He, he's now, on what you hey, should have hey, done hey, was hey. make make a, a tactically uh, thematic joke about Shadow's scat division of his firm. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> that, 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 that's your thing, not mine. <laughs> exactly. See here, we're no, all no, on it, court. It, it's, we're it's all an on everybody target. thing. It's an everybody. Well, well, well no, see, I'm, here's I'm what going, I have to I'm laugh going at. To soak this all in, and it, eventually, it, it, a laser beam. Pow! Someone. Well, well, we're all talking about that, but that's exactly what I do. Is when I grab a bunch of compost, is I grab it from the uh, from the local uh, wastewater treatment plant. I'm like, look, it's going to be in the ground for a few years before I get anything. Uh, whatever's there should be dead anyway. So, grows up really nice, you know, for uh, for the for whatever's it for for the plants though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, compost is is definitely. Oh, you're talking human compost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you don't want to use that too fresh. There, there are bacteria that are not good for. Well, that's that's that what they consumption. Well, that, that well, that's why they compost it for, 
you know, months though, actually when it got delivered, it was still hot. And, uh, but yeah. let's be honest, you know, after two years, I'm not really too worried about it because when I put it in the ground, it, I'm not getting anything out of that ground for a couple of years. So yes, I'm not too worried about that. Well, you, you could always get a, do you, do you have a compost soil mixer? No, no. Every, yeah, I do. It's called a uh, 15 year old. <laughs> Good man. That's the best. That's the best model. You know, the only better model than that is the twelve-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, he aged out of the twelve-year-old. Uh, yeah, no, but but, but no, I, I mean, what I did is I had him grab that compost because it's only ten dollars a cubic yard, so it was I was almost paying more for shipping, mm -hmm. you know, putting it onto the truck, and then I got uh, the mulch, and then I got some rock, and so I mixed that all up in you know into the pits we dig for the trees, and you know, with the it's going to take probably five to seven years before I get any fruit off that tree, off those trees. I'm not really too worried about by then whatever's there should be dead and, and replaced by the, the natural stuff. Yeah, 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 definitely. But the, the reason why I say mixing is that it speeds up. Yeah. The, it speeds up. Oh, yeah. A lot of people just throw the compost directly on and that's when you get the, the bacterial clumping, right? Well, well, it's supposed to be, yeah, but I mean, I'm telling you this much, and people forget about this, because I, I took some environmental engineering, and we went through the wastewater treatment plant and talked about it. It gets up to like 150 degrees in that, which kills off most of the bad bacteria. It breaks down all sorts of stuff, and you're like, okay. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, when yep. he had it delivered, you know, it, it was, we were we were going through it, getting it ready. It was still hot. So, mm -hmm. Yep. I'm like, okay. But I said, you know, if it's going to be in the ground after, you know, it's going to take a couple of years. I'm not really too worried about it. Considering all the other bugs that are out there, <laughs> Look, it's, mm -hmm. it's more likely to get me in the long term. But yeah, you're right. I, I agree. So I wouldn't put anything that I would grow vegetables that year for. That's, that'd be bad. No, no, that takes a little yeah. while. That's, that, that's how you get your uh, chipotle, spinach, um, you know, E. coli. E. coli, yes. <laughs> That's how you get that. We had we had Subway not having tomatoes for several years here because, you know, I'd be like, hey, we got tomatoes back. Nope, we don't got tomatoes no more. <laughs> hey, we got the tomatoes back. Nope, we don't got tomatoes no more. No, we had the same thing uh, with yeah. Wendy's and lettuce for about a yeah. year, and it was only what? Wendy's. Yeah, it's, it's their suppliers were, yeah. were using labor of a non-regulated area. What you mean? Well, you know, there's there's a lot Pissing of stuff. in the field. It's a well, usually it's crapping in the field. <laughs> yeah, well, but I don't want Shadow yeah. to pull his camera up. No, no, it's uh, <laughs> but but you know, there's a lot of stuff like that. But my mother still remembers when she was in Japan. They used to have the honey wagon. They would come by and collect all of your uh, your waste in it, and they would. Put well, that was called the, the honey vegetables. dippers. Oh, that's what they honey called, dipper. but 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 at her time they called it the honey wagon. Yeah, we'll honey wagon, that. honey dippers. Yeah, yeah. we, we still we still call them way. them folks that you know uh, the, the Port of Johns or whatever. Yeah, the yeah. honey dippers. Yep. Well, this was all untreated, and then they'd put it on there, and so they'd always warn everyone: don't eat the local food. <laughs> yeah, whatever they did with it, yeah, we had no clue. But yeah, the honey dippers. Yeah, uh, I'm well, eating local food, and uh, <laughs> look where I'm at. And yeah, so so what kind of trees are you planting there, Omina? Um, I'm trying to get some cherries, pomegranates, jujubes, um, the apricots, cherries, a couple of olive trees that I'd like to put in the ground in, in a few years. Yeah, uh, you know the the big thing is is they ship the trees in the spring. Well. It, that's the worst time to plant them in Texas yes. because if you don't pumping water them, they're just going to die. So I, yeah. I put them in pots on my balcony and I and I water them uh, outside my apartment. And then when they're done, you know, when no, when October comes around, then I plant them in the ground because that's usually when we have a wet season and let the roots go out. So that's a good time. But I've already lost two of them, I think. One of them was oh, yeah. we, had, we had eight inches oh, of rain sad. in uh, 24 hours. So that was right after the eclipse. Um, the day, the the evening of, and the day after, we got we got six six okay. inches of rain in six hours. So, then, oof, yeah. So here in the city, right? Um, they have a law that says if if you if you take a tree out, you have to put another tree back in roughly the same area. 
right? Okay. Um, it's it's to keep because it's yeah, green the space. largest. It's yeah. the largest city in the country. They they want to keep the air roughly clean. Um, so they t they tore a tree out in the front of my building because it, it had gotten some like Asian beetle infection or whatever. I don't yeah. Know. Um, and and they're they're putting in a new tree, and I I I offered to buy a pear tree to put in. Yeah. I was just like no, no, we gotta put another pine in or whatever. It's like you know, okay, well, well you... I wanted a goddamn pear tree because I like pears. I've heard pears grow okay here. Pomegranates are really tough trees. Yeah. I saw those in Afghanistan, and Bad they were growing at 120 degrees, and it was free. And I knew it freeze in the winter there too. So they're yeah. they're usually pretty hardy, um, at least down here, and they do fairly well in clay soils. So I'm, I'm like, okay, I was trying to plant um, some of those. The, like I said, the cherry trees I bought, unfortunately, I did get them in the in the fall, and I planted them, but one of them thought mm -hmm. it was too warm because they came from Wisconsin, so it decided to bud out. And I was like, yeah. oh, no. And so it, uh, it, it did it too early. And then another one, I think, just got hit by that too much rain. I, I'm, ju I'm just saying, I offered to buy the city oh. a fully grown pear tree to put here. And they said, no, we'll spend our own money. Like, you fucking it's, asshole. You, you, fucking you asshole. know what, though? I, I agree with you on all of that. Is I, You know, there used to be, like, when my grandfather was growing up, they would have apple trees and everything else. But now they just view it as like, oh, we don't want any of the uh, the fruits out there. You yeah, know, it's, a, because... it's an attractive nuisance or whatever. I, I will say this much, and I have to laugh, is when people say, oh, it's keeping the air clean. Most of our, our pollution where I live is from cedar pollen. Yeah, it's like, holy it, hell, I mean, it turns your entire it turns your windshield yellow from all Yeah, the but I, I think it's more like carbon scrubbing. Like, yeah. I'd rather yeah. enough trees to do carbon scrubbing than... yeah. You know. I, look, look, I'm all for I'm all for trees. Don't get me wrong, but but to pretend that it doesn't create more pollution, like uh, it depends on the tree. That's yeah. silly. Well, that's debris more than pollution. Well, it, it yeah, whenever, whenever I, I, they I get do what the you particles. Mean. Well, no, yeah. I mean whenever they do the particles, because like in Houston, Texas, a lot of that comes from the trees. So, like, oh, Houston's hugely uh, polluted. Um, yeah, but it's not from the cars that everyone's talking about. Or I mean, I'm not saying that you don't get some from the fires and stuff. A lot of that's just from all the pollen from the pine trees and things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, obviously humans contribute, but good yeah. Lord, there's a natural, yeah, come on. Uh, come well, on. I mean, I, I, I mean, to be fair, so I've been to Pyongyang. I've been to uh, Kabul. I've been to some other, you know, big cities overseas. And one of the things I thought was yeah. interesting, I, was, I had an Iranian student, and we were talking about it, and he came through Houston. He said, man, it just amazes me on how clean Houston is, the air. Like, Houston's considered one of the most polluted areas in the entire country, but a lot of that comes because they, they just look at the particles in the air. That's what they determine by pollution. And a yeah. lot of that just comes from the, the trees themselves. So you get a combination of both. I'm not saying well, that it doesn't, but... Um, you always get, like... But that's why I'm always harping on knowing what the actual numbers are instead of what the the published numbers are. Because yeah. I've, I've seen too many times where agendas have been derived on propagandized publications over raw data and well, making uh, money. Well, yeah. no, you just look at the destruction of the the psychiatric institute in in the the sixties, right? The 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 the, the the study, I can't remember the name of it. Um, the the college professor had a bunch of his students go around to therapists with a list of questions, see how many yeah. of them would get committed. Yeah, and, yeah. and and there was like sixteen or seventeen questions, and the last one was uh, either uh, I'm feeling suicidal or homicidal, and all the students that said that question got committed. And then they they admitted that that question existed in the published uh, paper journal. Oh, yeah. yeah. So so the the public, like the government, was being told that people were being committed for like mild depression and stuff like that when they were actually being committed for homicidal thoughts. Well, well, you've got that. Look look at the DDT study that they did, where they kept talking about the thinning of eggshells. And when you actually look at the studies, they omitted calcium in the DDT um, birds, but didn't 
did but didn't in the uh, in the uh, control. And so they're like, oh, DDT causes thinning of eggshells. No, it doesn't. If you don't give if you don't give calcium to your birds, they're going to have thin eggshells. That or <laughs> or there was the in the the eighties, early nineties. Um, yeah. Uh, they had a bunch of premature birth babies, and they were they were stu studying them, and they 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 looked at the pineal gland was one of the things that they looked at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and I've, I've told this story before, and then because the pineal gland was smaller in these babies because there were premature births, right? Like sometimes two months early. Um, they started irradiating the pineal gland in, in healthy babies because they, they thought it was like engorged. Girl, Justin, Holman. Right. Like, so, so the normal size pineal gland was being yeah. shrunk in, in healthy children. Check a what's Check up in. brother. Hello? Uh, j just because somebody didn't bother reading the fine print in a, a fucking document. Well, see, this is one of the reasons I liked reading a lot of stuff and seeing methodologies. Yeah, yeah it, but but that's the problem of, with the corruption of science is that I'm going so to interrupt involved. something. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. out. I have to All leave. Right, see you later, I, I love no you. No worries. Guys. Jackie says hi, guys. Uh, love you guys. She's, love you. She's Party on some. squirrel. You too, man. Get a okay. couple of nuts for Shadow. He needs them. <laughs> I got all the nuts for... Well, whoop. <laughs> I guess he busted one. No. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no blue balls for Squirrel, huh? <laughs> anyway, uh, but, but no. But, but see, that's one of the things I look at with a lot of the studies and stuff. I don't have to agree with certain people, and I don't even have to agree with conclusions, but at the end of the day is... Good science is good science, and what I'm getting mad at is, is and they're doing this more and more with science, is they can't even replicate the um, results that they're getting. And that was one of the, the, the prime things with uh, with any scientific method was that it's supposed to be observable and repeatable. And well, if you can't do either, then it's not a good study. It's it's not even they can't replicate. They they start, like, calling names to people who even think they, they, they should replicate. Like, Oh, that's an interesting thing. I'm going to try to replicate. Shut up, Nazi. I like well, 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 you know what I find out is those are the most ignorant people anyway. But but right. when I start looking at this stuff, is we're just talking like normal science. I'm not talking about... But if you can't replicate it, then how do you... Well, know that happens in normal sciences. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It, it's gotten worse, but I'm saying... But I saw a lot of it where, you know, they, they would quote something, but no one could ever replicate it. Psychology is one of the worst for that, that whole thing. Yeah, the, um, the humanities, is, uh, the humanities specifically after the fifties, and I mean like the early fifties. Well, I, well, my friend again for engineering, he was. We had one of the professors, and he said it used to be that you were doing papers to actually enrich the the topic, but in this early, I guess it was the late sixties, early seventies, it started becoming publish or perish, and so now they just put out tons of papers. But most of them aren't actually very good for anything. They, they, you know, it's like, well, you guys used to do groundbreaking research, and nowadays that just isn't there. That's why when they say, "Oh, we're doubling knowledge," I'm like, not really. No, you're, you're, doubling, you're doubling little April. little numbers, but there's nothing actually good. You're, you're generating from. hay for the stack, but all yeah. it does is prevent people from finding the needle. Well, the other problem that you have is, and this was I, I had one of my. Uh, well, she, that's a metaphor. She, for those well, of you out there that <laughs> well she was my um here's one of my classmates but she's going for her phd and she said she was so frustrated because she would try finding research but none of them would actually publish the things that didn't work so she said how do i know, how do i know if i'm even doing this and and what's funny the thing that she was doing was called the bump on the bridge with uh rail cars because there would be differential settlement just enough in the rail car that'd be about an inch different so when they would come up to it it could actually cause the, the train to derail. So that's what she was working mm -hmm. on. She ended up in the uh, Federal Highway Administration, if I remember that, correctly. That's, that's, good. that's good research, right? It's, like, it, uh, it's good research, but the problem was is that I forgot how many years it took her to do it. Uh, well, I had a couple things for people to know. Is if you ever go for grad school, they don't read the letters, okay? They just don't. So don't, don't worry about writing a great letter. <laughs> that's, I, I actually had a professor. She had a big stack of stuff. And she said, 
uh, the the acceptance letters are all the same. We never read them. Mm. She said, if you really want to, if you want to work for that professor, you need to call them up and talk to them, and ideally visit them at least once or twice. So when it comes across, they know who you are. That was one, mm. and then the other, yeah. So I, I, I include I include a headshot so they know who they they saw when you showed up. <laughs> well, well, like well, you laugh at it, but but actually that's. That's but I mean you should email your professor. It wasn't that hard for a lot of stuff, but you know that was that was but that was the big thing with grad schools. If you want to go with a certain professor to to study under them, make sure they know who you are before you ever send in an application. They should know your name. You should be you know, hey, I'd like to work with you. You know, can I have a chance to talk? You know, something like that. Yeah, uh, you can. You you are more likely to get. A job through enthusiasm than qualification, and that, that's that that's in every field. Uh, I'm just gonna let you know that, like off, offhand. So if, if you're you're actually trying to make an effort to, to know the person, that that shows some level of enthusiasm for the the role, not just looking for a, you know. Oh yeah, well, well, it especially helps if you're going to um, go somewhere. The other part is. I have to laugh at this is um, a lot of people like, Oh, I don't want to work for government. Like, you know, there's, there are a lot of programs out there that it, if you work for government, you can actually get paid to get a PhD and while you're working. So, um, um, yeah, government's not that bad, man. No, no, I never said government. Uh, was that. The problem that I have with it is, and I'm going to say this is a government employee. The problem is, is that, they create more and more bureaucracy and paperwork so we can get less and less done. Um, one of my coworkers, he was talking about it, used to take the amount of time it took him to do 100 contracts is the amount of contracts he... It, so it takes him to do 25 contracts now is what he was the same amount of time as what it used to do for him to do 100 contracts. So it's doing a quarter of the work. It's, it's a quarter of the processing just because it requires so much more processing. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, just like I know we were talking about the IRS. Why doesn't the IRS create an equivalent of a turbo tax? If you're going to hire all these agents, why can't you do that? Why can't I just go? Because they're getting all the stuff about it anyway. It's like, oh, there's the 1098 form. There's a 1099. There's this form. There's this form. Okay, I can fill it out. Why don't I type it out? You know, and hey, is this yeah. a valid expense or not? Uh, uh, I, I believe our government just, does. Our, our government that, that has, was, has something like that. I don't that know. I pay someone to do my taxes, so. Yeah, well, I expect, um, like I said, is if I get out of it, I get out of it. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah the 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 thing I would like is the ability to just automatically register those things in in that document as they come up throughout the year. Yeah. Instead of instead of having to pile them up aside and do them all at once, I'd like something that you know I can just like, well, hey, hey, I got this expense. I just drop it into the program and it adds it to the list. And then when tax time comes, it just sends it out. Uh, well, you know, but, but like you know, like, like, like I said, for my well, agency. AI will have that, huh? <laughs> well, but I mean, like for my agency, you know, they, they, they talk about they're being stuck more and more in the office when they used to actually go out to the farmer's fields and actually meet with them all the time. Like, well, that's what should yeah. happen. They should be out there more often and in the office less. You know, and actually they, doing the job instead of paperwork yeah. about the job. Oh, yeah. Uh. But yeah, it, it, that, that's it, well, that that's that's the that's called a bureau, bureaucratic collapse, right? It's one of those those things. What's the um, the, the British Empire had that? It was the yeah. uh, as as the empire shrunk, the bureaucrat numbers kept swelling. You know, yeah, like, you know, it's like. Well, you know, it's you're, you're laughing, Calvin. You're laughing, Cal. But I'll tell you this much: is if you can get a lot of Stuff if you want to do urban ag, mm. um, yeah. Well, you know the the thing is, is that. <clears throat> uh, but no, when he's saying register your home gardens, believe it or not, you can get money to for your home garden. You'll they'll count that as urban ag, and they'll give you you can get some money or at least some uh, um, technical assistance. Then why do I keep hearing about all these? Places that are being forced to, to tear out their home gardens. Because that's usually a local or state thing. Mm. Why would that ever be a thing at all? 
I'm not saying that's because, hey, look, if you vote for your politicians, that's what you get. You know, that's the problem why I get mad when people don't vote. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, like I, I say, the the worst protest vote you can have is an absentee ballot. You, you have, you have, we have, every country has more than the the two primary parties, right? You can go down and vote for your freaking commie Nazi Green Party, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter what wh- what you're voting for, because every every single one of those weirdo third, fourth parties that gets a vote is a threat against the primary system. Oh, I know. Well, my whole thing is, is that's why you go vote in the primaries, but you know what? We well, have an 80-year-old for my... For no, my guy. The, the thing is, no one no one that has a problem with the system should be registered to the, the blue or the red. So, so I'm going to let you know, it depends which ones. In Texas, we have an open primary. I can vote in whichever one I want, but I can only vote yeah. in one of them. Which yeah, is what I like. Yeah. But you know what I mean, that there are there are technically other parties on the ballot, like the Green Party, the Libertarian Party. You you have those. They they just don't get enough people coming out because those are the people that say, Well, I'm just not gonna vote this year. Where they should be voting for one of those parties instead. Well, here's here's the thing. <clears throat> and this is what happened during the, the early two well, the two thousand tens and stuff. A lot of them had done the libertarian, and so what they did is they said, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to push our libertarian candidates in the primaries for the Republicans, and they pushed out a lot of the uh, – some of those older ones. Um, yeah, but you know what I mean. They shouldn't be moving them towards one of those establishment, establishment well, see, frameworks. They should be – You know, I know, I know what Cal's talking about. Them. It depends on the hoops, Cal. It, like everything yeah. else is it depends on what you're looking at and what you're doing. Um you know, but there's money out there and there's good money out there. You just have to and no one forces you to do it. That's the other thing. You don't have to take government money. If you don't take government money, you don't have to do what they tell you. You know, yeah. that's that's what always gets me about it. It's like, okay, don't take the money. But you can still get technical assistance for it. Yeah. Um there are different grants that have different uh strings attached to them, right? And that's every country on the planet that is worth, like, fucking Afghanistan has government grants for stuff. Well, and some of it was paid by us because I remember. But you about, know what I mean. You know, right? Well, see, see, I know that I know what Cal's talking about, but Cal, I, you know, I work with the people. You have to talk to your person. You should know them pretty well. It depends on what your seed are, but there's a lot of technical assistance you can get. Um, yeah. But the other part that comes into it is. You know, a lot of people benefited from some of that, but the, but the paperwork has gotten so horrendous now you can't even get them. And there are some programs that pay me more than I would make off or about the same as I make off of uh, commercial farming. However, um, the, the only crop that I know in the U.S. that has an actual restriction on the amount that can be grown is sugarcane. And that's a byproduct of the Civil War that just should have been revoked by now. But well, so well, what gets you know. me about it is if you look at what was going on in Hawaii with the fires. When mm-hmm. when I was out there, probably oh, almost fifteen years ago, they uh, I think they still had the sugar cane. Well, they got rid of that, and so there was no burning usually. So it allowed a lot of this uh, vegetation to overgrow and things like that. Um, mm-hmm. But you know, like everything else is the problem that I'm having with it is. Seeds are getting too big that no one knows all the programs. Number two is that instead of focusing on a small, narrow area, they make it so big that no one can do the proper work in it anyway. They, they can actually do the job. Yeah. And, and then they get mad because you can't spend the money fast enough. So then they want people in the office to <clears throat> process paperwork. Like that's not the point of what's supposed to be happening. Um, mm-hmm. That said is, you know, you can get some good, Boy, if you're like a first-time farmer and you're looking at putting in some, um, oh, I, I talked to my local agency. Because I, I can't do it at work, but I can do it when I take time off. Um, putting in some, uh, oh, what is that? Um, Irrigation? Wind, no, wind what? breaks. Wind breaks? Wind, yeah. And they pay like $3 a square foot, or $3 a linear foot. So for like 1,200 feet, that's 3,600 bucks that I can get to put in a wind break. So I'm like, well, that's not too bad. And that that's specifically so the wind doesn't blow over your crops and uh, or will blow the soil away and things like that. But that's yeah. what the agency was intended for, you know. That was the the 
but you get that and you know there's there's a lot of times i'm just going for technical assistance it's like hey can you help me and tell me what's going on here and then they might provide some money but yeah. you know if you don't take any money from them don't do it the, the problem i do have is the over regulation of things that, it, that don't make any sense which is and i know you weren't a big fan of it but unpasteurized milk and stuff if I'm buying it from someone that well, I know personally, what's the big issue? But yeah, it's it's not that I have have a problem yeah. with it. It's that that big hoopaloo was about the guy trying to ship it like across country. Yeah, where uh, unpasteurized milk doesn't have a long enough shelf life for that. Yes, it does. It depends on what you're, you look. Look, there's that, certain that, ways there's, to... there's a reason why those those regulations were put in, and it was because of that. Yeah, who is, who's enforcing the regulations? Stop, stop. Who is enforcing those regulations? Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that that the the way they were being enforced was at, wasn't asinine. I'm just saying that th those regulations do exist for that reason. And, and the guy was trying instead instead of having a co-op with local unpasteurized people. So if if his website got a hit from like three states over, oh. and, and the guy three states over got a hit from his state, they just sent the orders to the other place he was actually trying to have like a multi-state monopoly for a product that really shouldn't be being shipped as far as he was trying to ship them no the problem really was coming from the usda backed off of it what what happened was the pennsylvania one was overextending for certain things listen i've, I've looked through that that, that and i've been following yeah. poly for a good 10 years in certain cases um well but you know what I mean milk. with the like instead of trying to ship it further than is recommended, like that recommendation is there instead of instead of saying, okay, you want this product, here's here's a guy I'm partnered with in your area that has the same product. And that guy saying that to people in your area, which he should have done and it would have never had that headache in the first place. See, see, Cal, you don't understand what I'm saying is you can claim to be whatever you want to be, including a woman, and they're not allowed to question you. Yeah. I know, because I've talked to FSA. And if you want to claim to be a, a woman, the only thing that they'll check on is if you're a veteran or if you're a new farmer. Those are the only two things which are both considered minority anyway. And if you're talking about the, the farm, just claim you're Hispanic. Boom. They, they can't argue that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can claim to be a no black fact. woman. They won't. They they can't. They can't even. Uh, they can't even get you for that. They're not allowed to yeah. question your your self identified ethnicity or sex. Yeah. the The problem is, why are those programs in existence in the first place? Well, that's the well. My whole thing is, if well, you're not going to get too much. The reason the racism exists is because people profit off of it, plain and simple. Yeah. But if you just well, made it so other than you're done. That there is a whole paper you can get from Amazon on why they like diversity in their plants because it prevents unionization. Yeah, if it's not worth your time, it's not worth your time, Cal. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying that there are a lot of good programs out there if you want to use them, and and you know it's 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 helped with um, my son's mother when she was trying to get hay. They would pay because it was in a, a drought emergency. She got six dollars a mile to transport hay for her horses. So, you, but you have to get in there. You have to fill out the paperwork. Yeah. If, if, if it's just a few thousand bucks and you don't have time for it, that's fine. But there, people, the problem really comes into is a lot of people don't know what's out there, including the people in your local office to find out what's going yeah. on. But, um, but yeah, it if, might you, be, if you expect the government to give you a lot of money, no, that's not going to happen. No, but like if it's 30 or 40 minutes worth of paperwork for $5,000, I'd do 30, 40 minutes worth of paperwork for five thousand dollars. Yeah, and I, I would call anyone who wouldn't a freaking retard. Well, I'm not saying again, Cal. I know what you're saying for that. I'm just saying that that you have to know what the programs are, and the programs change so frequently. Probably people yeah. have problems keeping up with them. That's what it comes down to. You keep on expanding and expanding instead of keeping it narrow, so people aren't sure. But like for technical assistance, that's free. Yeah. Okay, have it's like a, a hotline, okay. right? Is it a hotline uh, where you are? We we have a hotline in our 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 ag areas. I call I call up my uh, local office, and they'll send an engineer out to go look at my property. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, you know what can we do? We'll look at it. He'll give recommendations. Just give me a percentage that he's willing to pay off of. Um, people putting up hoop houses, which are kind of these um, 
I'm sorry, they call them wind tunnels. Or, or I'm sorry, uh, I think that's what they call them. Anyway, they call them hoop tunnels. But basically, they're, uh, they're greenhouses that are built. Mm -hmm. And they're paying for those. And they're paying for those in, like, people with five acres of land. And, like, oh, you want this? So if you want to do some urban ag, and they, they give a certain percentage, they'll take off, like, 50% of what's actually coming out of your pocket. There's another one where the lady was uh, getting some bad houses um, out there. Um, <clears throat> oh, I the, don't disagree with Cal. Do you have five it. acres, Cal? Oh, it sounds like he probably has like over a hundred would be my uh, guess. But yeah, well, if you got over a hundred, you should be able to. Well, no, no, I'm just saying, but there's a lot of small programs out there that don't even talk about. Like, like I love to put bad houses on my property just to get rid of mosquitoes. I'm like, well, that's cool, <laughs> and you know, but but they'll pay for some of those things, um, or they'll yeah. pay a percentage. And I said, okay, so if it, if a bad house, for example, they were, I was talking to one of the guys, if each bad house costs like three hundred bucks, but I'm only going to pay like forty, I'll pay forty dollars for a bad house, and let them pay yeah. the difference. Well, um, even even if it was like they're only covering a third or two thirds, it's still yeah. it's still worth it. Well, that's great that you have 1,800 uh, acres. Yeah, the, the problem that I have with a lot of it is the over-regulation rather than what we call it's common impressive. sense. Again, is the, the, look, I don't have any problems with if you're going to inspect certain areas. What I don't like is where they're like, you can't do this at all. Like I like Thomas Massey's um, Prime Act, which never gets passed because they don't want to ever pass it. But it says, you know, if the meat's going to stay within your, within your state, the state can inspect it. It doesn't require a USDA inspector. Why in the world we're forcing that? I don't know. And then that's the problem that I have with it. Yeah. There are too many overlapping agencies that are doing it and they're preventing you from getting anything. Um, just like you're allowed to get, I think, I'm not quite sure, but unpasteurized milk. As long as you say it's for human consumption, you can sell it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm used I, I to make saying. soap. In the meantime, I'm, you know, I'll drink unpasteurized goat's milk because I know where it's coming from. I know the person who's, who's literally milking well, the goat. That, that, that's <laughs> like... De definitely, like that's my point with the the uh, argument we were having just a, like a minute ago, argument. But uh, like, if it's locally, definitely yeah. there should be no no reason for it, es especially if it's like clearly labeled when it was like bottled, when when it was milk, when it was bottled. So because well, well, there I'm, are there are serious you. problems with drinking unpasteurized milk that has gone off. Right. No, no, I don't disagree with that. But and but and that's look, that's the real worry about the the longer you ship it, the more likely it's 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 gone off. Yes, I understand that, but I'm letting you know from personal experience that yeah. if I know who's bottling it and I know where well, the source yes, is, yes, but that's because you're local. Like, no, no, no. Odds are you'll be local. It doesn't that. even matter if it's local. Like like you're talking about with that one farmer, I know yeah. who I'm getting it from. The problem that I'm yeah. having in many cases is is it all goes into the same place. And a lot of them use illegal immigrants. They're not tested for tuberculosis and other stuff. And you have to pasteurize that because they're mixing all of the milk together. And you have thousands yeah. of, you know, it, it, it depends on scale and whether I can identify who the person is that, that did it and where it was. You know, that's what it comes down to. It's like, which really comes down to, do I know where my food is coming from? And in most okay. cases, the answer is no. Now, if I buy the cow share, I know where that, that literally is coming from. I can drive to the guy's yeah. house. I can pet the cow before they slaughter it. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, th that's that's like another thing I, I really fucking hate. is I've seen cases in your country where eminent domain has been used on like fucking parking tickets, but it's not used on like farms using illegal labor, like like practical, practical slave labor. Right, like you, yeah. you, got, you got a you got a shed full of Mexicans that that can can barely afford food on their back because they're working just enough to pay the 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 shed fees or whatever. Well, well, like, well eminent, eminent and you're not in your well, like you're eminent domaining over parking tickets, but you're not eminent domaining over practical slave labor. Well, right, it, like, it's well, and a lot of times that is an eminent domain. Eminent domain is that they're taking land without. What I don't like is when they're taking it for personal use, and yeah. then they, and then what they're doing is they're taking it and then they'll give it off to one of their friends. Um, oh yeah. well, you know what he, you know the, the the word blight bugs the hell out of me. Um, well, we we did it to remove urban blight. 
Um, or, or my favorite was in Chicago, which was not quite eminent domain. The guy kept getting a fine for the lot next to him. So he cleaned up the lot and made it into a park. The city of Chicago came back and said, you have to convert that to back how it originally was. Like, what? That's the problem I have with, the, you know, as much as we talk about the federal government, a lot uh, more crap. You're getting a fine for together. someone else's property? Yeah. Like, that, that's bullshit. But, yeah, no, but you know what I'm saying, though, right? Like, th they use they use the one policy for bullshit reasons when they don't use it for legitimate ones. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but have, having a bunch of uh, border jumpers picking lettuce or whatever well, is a it's, legitimate it's, it's... reason to seize property. Well, it's intentional. It's the well, they wanted well, to. Blow it's, it's 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 not even it's not it's not even like as intentional. It's much more intentional than you think because your government has a program, um, that that is a non for profit bank in several South American countries that will put like so, um, a, a subsistence farmer can take a loan out against his bank. Which is just the same amount that a coyote wants. So he has a, I, I, right? it's like so your tax dollars are going to give a loan to a subsistence farmer to upgrade his farm, but he can't because all the land parcels are around him. And the only upgrade he, he can actually have is buy more land. So it, it, he ends up taking it, that money, it, it, jumping across the border, I, and um, then then because he can't pay he, he, no, he can't pay his 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 debt back and had no real intention to so his, his abandoned land gets seized and immediately transferred to like monsantos or dole I, well I mean, you, i'm just like monsantos is an example right like it's no it's no like, i'm using dole from the 1950s if you look at what happened in guatemala yeah. um i mean there's a lot of these things that go out there but or, or, look, look, this is why i don't believe in aid. this is why i don't believe in foreign aid because yeah. a lot of it is going over for human trafficking, and they don't want to admit. It. And then the other part oh. is, once people come here, wait a minute. Once people come here, they're effective slaves because if they if they rat out the the farmer that has them or anything, guess what? They get deported. So it's intended to be kind of that slave labor thing. It's yeah. it's not even that. That there was this one case I was reading about about four or five years ago where this guy he lost his farm, and then there was like like a like a, a thing in the article on how he has no home to go back to because it was seized by the bank. They they yeah. left that part out like because they don't want to tell you about that in the article. So he goes back, but then the bank gives him the loan again with no collateral this time. He comes back and does it like five six times something like that. And it's like eventually he's just like walking around like he's in your country somewhere. Um, uh, well, let's, look, look, look. If you actually look at the NGOs that are in there, especially if you look at the stuff yeah. going in Europe as well, where they're saying, yeah. oh, we're rescuing these people. You're rescuing them 15 miles off of Africa and then, and then sailing them 300 miles across the Mediterranean or longer. Well, the, uh, that's, the, it, it, it's, it's not just the – it's the whole West is, is screwed from the aspect. Yeah. Just the whole um, West. Is, no, is, the, and, and why are we funding these NGOs in the first place? That's there, what I really there there was um and that's now that, that well it, it's it's by design. Take care, Cal. Uh party on yeah. Cal and, and look into the paperwork, bro. It's worth it. Well, no, no, uh, no. If he's done it, he probably I mean his family's been around long enough, they've dealt with some of that, and he had eighteen hundred acres. But I'm saying, but a lot of people just starting up, there's a lot of good little programs out there for loans and stuff like that. And then like yeah. he said, for emergencies. I said, yeah, but there's enough emergencies all over the place. You get it for drought, for fire, for um, rain. You know, it's like, yeah. it, and even crop insurance is still FSA in most cases because yeah. it's it's um, subsidized. So. Yeah. Well, I, I just want to say that that bank program I mentioned during yeah. during the uh, the Trump administration, it was expanded to Africa. It, it's well, the it, problem it, they they it, didn't use farming in 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 Africa. They used women empowerment. But it's the same fucking program. I, I look, look. All you're telling me is why are we funding overseas instead of helping out Americans? That's all I'm hearing. <laughs> that's look. That's the that's the way I feel about it. You know, no, we're never going to solve homelessness because a lot of that is drug addiction and mental illness. Um, well, that was like I mentioned the paper with the the college yeah. students earlier. That that like all ninety percent of that is. 
They those people yeah. were in proper institutions. Like some yeah. of those institutions were bad with the electroshock and stuff like that. But that was that was already being fixed before that paper came out. So no, no, no. I, well, that's not what I'm referring to. Is I'm referring to if you look at a lot of it is is that because I had a friend that worked with homeless. A lot of them don't yeah. want houses. A lot of them can't aren't capable of keeping well, down. And a lot of them are like, like there I is a bit of that. I, I've seen that they just don't. Yeah, well, no, no. Yeah. But I'm talking about they like, don't want to live that lifestyle. Well, I remember in NPR, they were going through this thing and within, because they always try getting your emotional uh, strings. And within like the first three seconds, I said, it's a drug addict. And they, they yeah. leave that out until the last, like, you know, they go through this like 10 minute spiel. And, and yeah. only at the last minute, they say, well, yeah, he's had drug problems. Yeah, oh. for so, 25 so years. Why, why, we were talking about homelessness. Why are we talking about, you know, hey, we need to, don't get me wrong. I'd rather put people in rehab than put them in jail. I really would yeah. if we can get them at least something in there. But um, uh, a lot of these people have mental illnesses and stuff like that. You, you know, and, and I, like I said, I had a friend that used to work with them in all Chicago. Them the post. She, and she talked about them going, um, um, you know, she, she talked about how the police would run them off and things like that. And then she said they got treated pretty badly, but some of them were just psychotic. And they required antipsychotic medication. And she said, as soon as they went on the antipsychotic medication, they could become functional human beings again. Um, but a lot of them would stop taking the medicine, and then they fall right back into it. It's like, oh man, you know. It's, it, I think that the problem is that we're putting a lot of our money in the wrong things. Just like I hate, there's nothing I hate more than for-profit prisons. Your job should never be to make money off of putting people in prison. Um, that, that, that bugs the hell out of me. Because then what you find out is when they were talking about reducing some of the drug laws or stuff like this, is all of these people were coming up and saying, oh, well, no, no, you can't do that because then we're going to lose um, prison jobs. Like Our job no. is not to put people in, in jail for years just so you can keep your goddamn job. <laughs> well, the, the, and, and that's, that's, also, that's also bullshit because if you reduce the, the, the drug – the 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 drug accessibility like you make it easier to get get pot fucking heroin and, and anything in between all you're going to do is get either in, in the case of pot more people driving cars and getting into accidents and killing people yep. while, while they're like not really because it does it it does soften your your perception if you're, you're well, well, that, that's, that's, you can say that's under dui yeah, the influence it is. Um, yeah, so the so thing. well that that's what they classify here as because it's legal here. Um, so you're you're gonna get instead of like the, the the six months or whatever you get for having some weed, you get now twenty twenty five to to life for killing someone in vehicular homicide. Right. Yes, but but, but that person. But, but everyone longer. that's using um, marijuana is not killing someone. Okay. Yes, that's, but what I'm saying is like the the numbers go up in other ways. In okay, so you have one person instead of twenty, but you know you had twenty people at like four months each versus one for thirty years. Where well, are you getting see, more it's, money? It's much. It's much higher than that. And the problem that I have with it is. If you start looking at um, drug trafficking and listening and stuff like that, it's like, oh, you sold it to your friend. Well, guess what? That informant said that you've sold it for the 50 years. And so it goes from a misdemeanor to suddenly a felony just because they're trying to do it. That's what I have the problem with it is they're overcharging and they want to and they're trying to get money for the prison. Again, I don't have any problems with removing people from society when they're a danger to society. I don't have any problems yeah. with people going to jail when they do something wrong. What I do have a problem with is when they're using it as an excuse to steal property and throw people in jail for years that does nothing to benefit society as a whole. Yeah. That's what I have a problem with. Well, and again, to throw people in jail for certain things, you know, and, and hearing all these people think that it's okay to not throw someone in jail for murdering, but then get really pissed off because they don't pay off their taxes. Well, guess what? Someone not paying well, their taxes is much less likely to hurt me. Your country is the only country on the planet that has a prison sentence for for uh, tax default. I'm not saying that it. I'm not saying that it's right. All I'm saying is yeah. that there should be a review of a lot of the prison yeah. sentences that go off of there yeah. because there's lots of ways you can do liens on property and thing, and that's the way you should probably go. Yeah. Well, uh, that's what that's, what everyone that's else. Never does. Gonna, that's never going to oh, happen. Oh, you you. you Pay taxes? Well, we're gonna garnish eight percent of your wage until it's paid off. 
Well, IRS does that a lot of times anyway. I mean, that's yeah, the... but the fact is, no, no other country on the planet has the tool of prison for for tax defaults or whatever. And, and we always say this will never happen. The answer is, is yeah. you need to get together and actually vote for people that'll do it, whether well, they do it or not. At least to change one or two. You know, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna already chew out my stupid uh, congressman when I get when I get home. I'll, I'll write him a nasty letter about one is stop supporting Taiwan, Ukraine, and. Uh, Israel. I said, I don't want to go into World War III just because you want to give more money to those companies, number one. Number two is we're already in a trillion dollars of debt a year. You know, I'm sorry, yeah. de that's the deficit. I said, that's excessive. And then the other part that comes into it is I got mad because of the FISA warrant. And then I always loved it because I was reading the, the, the law for the FISA warrant. They just, you know, they're getting passed through. And you know what it says? Oh, well, we'll, we'll do a zero tolerance for the uh, FBI agents to do it. I said, now, what you need to do is you need to put a five-year, $250,000 fine on them and say, guess what? And remove qualified immunity for anyone that abuses it. And well, all of a sudden, what, what oh, you should do is it. just declare declare uh, the FBI a treasonous organization and uh, execute everyone who's ever been employed by it. You know, my, my whole thing <laughs> is, is that... Is that but but no, no I'm, but my whole point of it is is that if you really want to no I've, I've oh, seen like you, you go go watch Mississippi burning and when you find out that that story is based on something the FBI organized yeah I've seen it oh you well aware thing that they did to Martin Luther King oh. and then um, Seberg uh, look I'm not saying that the FBI shouldn't be disbanded but if you're going to actually put something in there first off that they they said well if we have probable cause we have probable cause get a warrant I don't understand yeah. why that's so hard. You know, if you don't have probable cause, then don't. But the fact that you have ATF agents and FBI agents come to people's doors saying, well, you know, we saw that you bought a gun, you know, and we like to come inside and look at them. Um, yeah. No, you no that, that's an yourself. infringement of the, oh, I'm going to defend the 2A. It's an infringement of the Second Amendment. Take this bullet. Well, here's, here's, here's the answer. No, no, you're violating the Fourth Amendment. Go get a good goddamn warrant. <laughs> no, they, they showed up at the door. It doesn't matter. Go. You know, here's the thing: is all always people like, oh, we'll shoot. Okay, well, that's a good way to end up dead. But the proper response is like, all right, go, go get a warrant. Just go, you know. And then they they sneak off. I mean, my father had problems one time. He was you, bringing guns you will from know. Germany. Uh, you will. You will know your country is back to being a free country the first time a president orders the immediate arrest of the the ATF agent that. Uh, goes on X, formerly known as Twitter, and, and uh, uh, pay, pays accommodation to the the agents that fell at Ruby Ridge. Oh, I know. Well, uh, well, or, or Waco, it. either one. It doesn't matter. Well, 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 well. Here's what gets me about it is is that the uh, because that was considered murders that they let him go again. That comes into qualified immunity. Remove the qualified immunity, and suddenly you're going to find people acting in a better no. Manner. It shouldn't because qualified immunity is supposed to be stripped the second they're no longer uh, following the law under regulation. Okay, and, and the agree. second they showed up at the door with a fucking armored tank, the, 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 like the, a fucking the, the, siege the, equipment. There should be no qualified immunity. Is my whole point. Yeah. Um, well, it, it it does make sense that you can't be sued for legitimate actions. Okay, but that's right? not qualified like, immunity. In certain cases... Yeah, no, that's can, that's what qualified immunity is supposed to be for. I, I know, but but if you actually listen to a lot of them, is all of a sudden they, they, it comes down to, well, yeah, they were doing something illegal, and they kind of knew they were doing something illegal, but they still have qualified immunity. And they have to almost strip the people. They have to do yeah. like an act to strip the people of that immunity. I said, no, no. Yeah. You didn't have that unless you're following within your, your prescribed yeah. rules of qualified immunity. That's the whole point. I, I suspect it. you of a crime is not, this is the crime I witnessed you committing. And the second they, they say, I suspected you of a crime, you've lost your qualified immunity. It's like, okay, you suspected me. Now go get a warrant. Go yeah. fill out the paperwork. But the problem is when you start coming in, and, and again, this is the other problem that I have, and this is why I get mad at them. If you have 80 agents that are monitoring people's accounts on Twitter, then the proper – that are trying to make – stop malinformation, the answer yeah. is, is obviously the FBI has 80 too many agents. And yeah. that's really what you start coming down to. Because no one are, really are, wants to... Uh, the, the Boogaloo boys, right? Oh, like yeah. the, the senator that they claimed was going after – was in on that. Why wasn't she immediately arrested under Article 22A? 
Like, I, Article I get, 22 what? Like, I, I, I think your government needs to start enacting Article 22A a lot more. Well, I, well again, my, my whole point on this is if you're going to, if, if is Congress should just start stripping money out of them. Oh, guess what? If you did something that Congress you're supposed is not going to do anything of the sort. Well, well if, no. if, if, if what's her face? Well, what was her name again? Um, Whitmer? Was it, was it Whitmer? The one that they, they said they were, the Boogaloo boys were going to blow up Can or whatever? Know? Yeah. Um, you, mean, uh, you, mean, you mean you mean the one that they had sixteen people and twelve of them were FBI informants? Yeah, and she <laughs> she was in on the the whole plan from the beginning. If, if the first thing had been okay, your Article Twenty Two Day, that means you no longer have civil rights. Uh, that this is the first thing you got to know about the U.S. government. If you are a government <laughs> employee, the government can suspend your civil rights at any time if you commit a crime. No, no. I and, and like, like I mean, like, no, no, okay, you no. are sentenced. This is your trial. You are sentenced. No, no, no. Because no, it's because c- it's, it's never been used. It's no, no. There. My whole point. Uh, no, no. My whole point is, you still keep your your rights no matter what. No. However, it, however, it, you, you, don't are to, right. you are starting. You are starting. You don't to, get special to, rights. No, you don't get no, special. No, no. Rights. no, no. You are starting to conspiracy against your own citizens to deprive them of their rights. You don't get them anymore. No, no, no. That, that's what they were doing. That that's I, what she was doing. That's what the, the FBI was doing. They were they were okay. conspiring Justin, to deprive Justin, citizens of their rights. I, no, everyone gets the rights because otherwise you can get framed and you're going to have fall guys for well, it. That's what they were doing. People. They were framing them. Justin, we're not talking about that. You either you believe that people have rights or you believe that they don't. If you you have to be fair on everyone for that, and that's my whole point. That yeah. said, is what happened to the FBI agent who led that? He disappeared no after time. you mean you mean after he broke the orbital socket of his wife and you know oh. when you look at it, oh, oh wait wait a minute you know, yeah you, that, you do oh, not he, want to know the list of FBI agents that were coming out at that time like there there, oh. there was like eighty of them in it was like something like three out of five FBI agents were like found guilty of some sort of sexual assault or, or oh, were wait, in wait. some sort of sexual assault con- conspiracy wow well. What 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 happened to that supervisor? Nothing. He got promoted and went to Washington D.C. to deal with the January sixth stuff. When he should have been in a cell hey guys, for guys, a minimum of twenty years. My battery's yeah. about to die and I can't okay. charge it, so I'm gonna okay. have to say good night. Yeah. <laughs> in other words, and, uh, the conversation's getting too hot. <laughs> no 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 no. <laughs> I've only got one charger and Jackie's using it. I'm, so, yeah, I'm just messing with you, man. That's why I did this. No no, 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 no. very very I, interesting just, conversation. If you guys want yeah, to keep yeah. going back and forth, well, well, I, I, you know. I mean, to be uh, fair, Justin and I are probably on the same thing for the most part. But I, to me, you have to have your civil rights. You just don't throw them away because that is the worst case where they always. That, that's what I'm people. saying. Th- those people aren't citizens anymore. They're now civil well, servants. No, no, it citizens. doesn't matter. You still keep your rights for your rights because you have the right to defend yourself, which is the whole point. Hi guys, of yeah, civil <laughs> party. Off. Everybody in chat, yeah. thanks for hanging out. I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Hopefully I'll see you guys too also Saturday and Sunday. So keep your dance yeah. cards open. Yeah. Uh, but I got to go uh, before I can't do anything about shutting this show off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, you better. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Okay. Party Bye. on, man. Party on. Uh, no, I mean, but no, I, look, look. Uh, oh, 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 like, that it's, it's, I don't I, disagree with you, but. I, I mostly but, but, agree with you. Yeah. I'm just saying that. Like in in Western countries, we need a couple of like really stiff punishments for government employees well, well, for this well, kind of shit. Well, between you and I, is what they should do is if 